Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Week 51. Everything is oh, going boy. wrong. <laughs> the party is the, the party the party is split. <laughs> the wizard is gone. They don't have their spell book and the, the, the rest of the party is running to the docks and also split across a map. They're not they're not too far away from each other, but they are away from each other and that's 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 important to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, I, I think you all remember vividly what happened last week. So I think are we all ready just flashback. to jump into a battle and oh god and start fighting just with whatever you have left? Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Some of you completely oh. out of spells. Some of Look you out of me. rages. And and the fiends circling. We rolled last week, I'm pretty sure, and they saw that stuff is gone. Mm-hmm. It might be. Uh, it might be gone. I can see it, the rolls from last time. You can? Oh, really? I would probably I see the rolls, but we yeah. can't see them in the turn order. Can you see them in oh, the yeah, turn the turn order. Oh, like the initiative. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want us to roll again? Well, yeah, if it's gone, we can roll again. If you want to bother going up and getting what you got last time. Go ahead, only if it's higher, I guess, is what you would do, you fiends. But... <laughs> oh, oh, there they are. Oh, wait, they yeah, yeah, yeah. All I had to do was just do one initiative thing. Yeah, wow, okay, so what did you get last? You got a 13 last week, so... I got a 13 last time. Basically yeah. the exact same thing. Yeah. yeah. So let's just put you on 13 and... Read cry about it later. Yeah, hell yeah. Nice. nice. <laughs> did really well on these monsters. I see Ooh, that. Yeah. Yeah, you did. You did. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, uh, with, even though you had been warned or not to go into town at night, you are in town at night. Mm-hmm. That's excellent mm-hmm. for me because that's when all the monsters want to be hunting things. And you guys right. are separated. So, it's. It's kind of awesome. I'm going to play the battle theme. <laughs> uh, so. you, know, you, can't, you can't really present Chekhov's nighttime and not have us be there. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely can. Especially one more. One, frazzled, weakened, and also uh, missing an entire party member. Well, <laughs> you know, when the gang threaten you and you choose to run to the docks rather than backwards to safety... Then, uh, well, you know, you end up here. But and that's not where our happen. wizard is. Yeah. Our wizard isn't back at the house. <laughs> and you, you're not entirely sure if they're at the boat either, but you're still going that's that fair way. <laughs> Your destination right now is uh, potentially screwed, but we'll see. <laughs> uh, what we're listening to right now is Shane's new combat musics that they've made, so... Thank you for making that in this moment, especially. Cerulean Darkness, I'm pretty sure, is what's rocking right now. Uh, Cerulean Darkness is the main theme, not of this world is the battle Ooh, theme. Okay, so they're remixes of the old ones. So that's why this is so calm right now. Let's let's get the non-calm yeah. one. <laughs> to get a good one in there. <laughs> get the one that has a little... Let's get the like good the one. Let's not play the bad <laughs> No, that's all right, man. Good for this moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this one. Here, here. Yep, I would like to go there. I love the the, the drums that you added into these, dude. Like the marching band Thank drums you. that are always in there. They were like very subtle previously, uh, but they they kick kind ass of, right I now. learned how to re- ma- like I learned how to master audio. Yeah, you know, in the time that I first wrote them, and in the time that I released these, so <laughs> hopefully they sound a lot better. Remember, <laughs> if you ever need help, run into literally my job. You should swap notes at some point. I'd like to know like <laughs> what you know that I don't, and if I picked up anything that you don't know. Although I doubt it, because you're going to school for it. But mm-hmm, hey, we'll mm-hmm. see. Anyway, we'll table that for another time. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, Silas, you're being <laughs> swooped up. right now. Oh, yeehaw. The Bergheist to the screen left of us, all watching, 
with the three little dudes on the back, trademark little dudes, <laughs> it's, it's coming right at you, using its uh, spare feet. Uh, it's kind of got like chipmunk webbed flying arms and they're using that to swoop down, but they're going to try and grab onto you with their feet and uh, just, just grab you, just try to grapple you, I suppose is the correct action being taken right now. All right. There's nothing I could do. <laughs> well, you got to roll a contest. Yeah, you gotta, you know. <laughs> Strength or acrobatics, I think. Mm -hmm. Let's do acrobatics. Let's do acrobatics, of course. There we go. Ooh. Ah. Insanely high, as always. <laughs> <laughs> as uh you manage to uh plant your feet on the roof somehow and not be lifted off the ground by this thing as it attempts I to got claws. yeah you got f <laughs> your claws rend through your boots into the roof <laughs> <laughs> uh but it can make two attacks, so it is kind of mad at that, and it's just going to try and claw <laughs> you back, dude. It's just going to try and hit you now. Uh, rolling an 18 to hit you. Just misses! <laughs> just hey. misses, god damn. You got damn. mad, let me see. 19. <laughs> 19 So AC's. the armor upgrades do matter. <laughs> told you, told you. Just sleeping on them. Uh... Then they uh, land themselves on the roof, right in front of y'all's. Oh, I didn't see this group. Oh no! Oh yeah, this, this, <laughs> yeah. Like, they're like, being, they're things being are hidden. bad right now. Yeah. Uh, the little ones from the north are all gonna like like darts swoop down, all swarming you. Uh, just all three of them flying over your head, pecking at you with their non-beaks and clawing at you with their very much real claws. Uh, I need to open this sheet. Why? Because <laughs> they're mad at you and they have pack <laughs> tactics. So, you know. Oh. Ugh. No, 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 no. Uh, yes. Also, I absolutely. just exited out of roll 20 by accident. So give me a second. That's, that's fine. I, w <laughs> I would as in. well. <laughs> Just quit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Each of them can make one claw and one bite at you, and they all absolutely will do that. Oh, God. Your AC is what currently? It is uh, 18 without any buffs. Okay, now y'all got some insane AC's. Uh, well, it looks like. <laughs> Four of these attacks are looking like they're getting at you. Shield. All right. So we're going to go to 23 AC. That makes only one of these get you. It's not a crit, but it was bordering the crit. It was just really high. Yeah. yeah, I gotcha. For eight piercing damage. As it oh. manages to... Uh, I think there was a bite. Nice. Yeah, it, it like bites on to your shoulder and kind of drags you around a little. That hurts. It does. It does. It does. And the three <laughs> on the back of the one that Silas, you fended off, all three of them are going to uh, swoop against you, all kind of screaming demonic bloody murders at you. It's not a good day. Uh, bah, bah, God, mm -hmm. this, this, this one again. One, two, three of them. Ooh, that's fun. Uh, your AC is 19, then I assume if an 18 didn't get you. Yeah. One, two, three of these will hit you, lest you Something also have a shit. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> you just gotta deal My with reaction that. is opportunity attack and that's it. Okay, okay. And you're not raging right now? Nope. Okay, okay. So you're taking all of this? Oh no, silent. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me do some quick math. 30 damage? 
as these yeah. things all peck at you, tearing uh, claw marks all over you. There's a lot of blood on this roof right Ooh. now. One that crit you, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it just, like, autoplay to some Fallout New Vegas <laughs> soundtrack. <laughs> that was a bit too jolly for what we're doing right now, thank you. Uh, the, the Mojave radio station, thank you very much for uh, showing up. <laughs> right, let's make sure to, 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 to loop this one. All right, let's get back to murdering. Uh, <laughs> I'm back in the game. Back in the game. Um, Comet, it is now your turn. You can see across the streets or on the roofs from where you are the mass of silhouettes swarming the 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 torch that is Ra on the other roof. Uh, all right. So I'm going to I I can't see Flotsam, but I'm gonna You're just both say invisible, out loud. right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, I'm gonna just say like uh, let's walk along let's walk along this edge of the roof, um, uh, and I'm gonna see. I think my speed is thirty, so I'm gonna go this way. If I can get on that roof. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> and then I'm going to I'm gonna yeah. cast I'm gonna cast sending. I'm gonna cast it and send to Palea. Because I saw her last time. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna yeah, cast yeah, to yeah, Palea. Yeah. Uh, hello, Miss <laughs> Raw and her crew are in trouble. We may need help. If you can board, hey. <laughs> well, you can't hear me. <laughs> we maybe uh, if you are so inclined. <laughs> if you're not busy, yeah. If it's not too much trouble, uh, we may, we we're gonna need you to board. Some of us may be coming there. I don't know how much I can say, but <laughs> some of us may be coming on our way, and that's what I say. Uh, so that's sending. That's an action. Mm -hmm. And then... Bonus action. I don't think I can breach them. Uh, with any of my healing stuff. It's 30 feet away, so I can't really do much. Yeah, that's... Whew! And I might need that spell for now. Uh, instead, I'm going to... I, I used my doppel thing, so I cut my health in half. So instead, I'm going to heal myself. Just to like have that um, maybe mitigated a little bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Healing word. Oh uh, yeah, your spells were jimmied from spells, last time. Yeah. Got to take a look at that. Yeah, so I it's make a note I believe it. it's just a D4 plus. Yeah, normal healing ward is D4 plus your. Okay. Your thing. So seven. Uh, and that is. My turn. All right. Uh, you do get an affirmative back for sending can uh, do that. Uh, roll for me 2d4. 2d4. I don't know oh, why it sounded like there was meant to be more to that. Yeah. I'm assuming you want a low roll on this. Yeah. Uh, let, me get, let me get a two. Let me get a two. Low. You know? Let me get a two. <laughs> So you rolled a three on the. Oh, oh, right, oh no. no! Oh, that was the two D. I saw the other D four. I was like, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> it was like three plus four. <laughs> so four, four. four. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not the best, but not the worst. So <laughs> that's uh, the, yeah, yeah. That's what I got. Uh, they give you the insinuation that it will take a moment, but they should be on their way. <laughs> okay. We, I can't communicate with anyone else right now, so they do say turn. they are not stopping. So if you are not there when they go past, you, uh. you're not. <laughs> you're done. We're not getting picked up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they're gonna do okay. a drive by, and if you're not jumping onto their ship as it gets past, sorry. Got it. Got it. <laughs> got it. That's fine. 
I don't even know if we have. Um, it's the end of your turn. Rah! We camera swoop back up onto the other roof at the swarm of Vargheists around you both. I, uh, I say, damn, we're in a tight spot, and I'm gonna bonus action get a blade song up. Whoosh, mm-hmm. so I would love to have a little extra movement and a little extra AC and a little extra all that stuff would be great. Um, and then I'm gonna as an action thunder step the fuck out of here with Silas. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, that's gonna bring us to let's see. I want to get as close to the port as I could possibly get. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, pretty sure I can all over here. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Kapoo. Woo. Uh, disappear, reappear over this way, and I'm pretty sure also. So it's right here. Um, that's all these dudes that surrounded us. So the DC is a 14 and it's a con mm-hmm. save, I believe. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, one. and I'll roll the thunder damage. We'll see what happens. Nice. 16 thunder damage. Ooh, nice. That's not so bad. All right. It is a con save for these fellas. Let's see if they hit the lips. Six, please. Five, six, absolutely, and the big one. Boom. They've got to beat a what? A 14. A 14, okay. I know, it's impossible for them. Three of the little dudes fail. Three little dudes. We'll say the ones around you, because that probably makes a bit more sense. Sure. They will all take the full 16. Bing, bing. Bing bong. And these ones will take Bing eight. bong. <laughs> I'm glad someone got it. <laughs> <laughs> and the big man succeeded, so they also take eight. But that is a very loud explosion, which is awesome. As all the tiles yeah, in the right room kind of right off. Here. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh yeah, you're all the way down there. God damn, that thing can cross map you. Mm. Um. As you are there though, and you land and kind of just to your surroundings and get a gauge of where you are now. Uh, though you have mm-hmm. left many of the fiends on the roof. Uh, the snarling and heavy footfalls coming from the way of the dock kind of take your attention as you can see a large, uh, singular creature barreling its way towards this place where you are currently. It, it looks large oh, and looks no. angry. Oh, God. Uh, but it's off screen right now. <laughs> so. <laughs> cool. Mm-hmm. Oh no, the off-screen monster! Yeah, the off-screen monster. It's it's oh, it's terrifying, guys. You did not want to see this. It's indescribable. <laughs> I couldn't even make a token of it, dude. It was... <laughs> Trust me, it's there. It shivers my timbers. I tell you that much. Mm-hmm. It's so scary. You couldn't have it's it on three. You should be thanking oh, yeah. Cheeky that you don't have to see it. Yeah, literally. <laughs> um, now that you're gone and every creature's ears that are up here are ringing because god damn it looks like they have probably good ears good hearing mm. with them ears mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. others are invisible so these guys are just gonna chase you down they're they're they're, they're angry but they're probably not going to be able to get to you mm. they only have about a 60 flying speed sprint poor fellas uh, oh no, poor the <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a sprint. That's a bad Lots of You're all the way on the other side of this place. It's It's not not that mm. good. 
So there's an issue with Mantle of Inspiration in the text of the thing that I'm reading, and it's uh, a target a creature you can see. Yeah. Uh, and I can't see Comet, I don't believe, anyway. Because we mm. have true... Uh, what do we have on Invisibility? Greater, Greater Invisibility. invisibility. Mm -hmm. Greater Invisibility. So, um, I'm just going to use my action to go 30 feet, and then I will use my... Action to go another thirty feet, or my, or sorry, I will go movement dash, um, and end my turn. Right. You, you got like, the Lex book, I, I so yeah. I can't move. I can't move Lex. Uh, They're on the your hat. Is. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't really do much else. I'm just gonna keep moving in that direction, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna end my end my turn. Common, you definitely hear like the the tiled roof behind you, kind of. Mm -hmm. The, the sound of what you assume is flotsam running along. <laughs> right, right. Flotsam shape footprints. Yeah. <laughs> Probably just mechanics. <laughs> 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 um, the one that hasn't done anything yet up here still has his little dudes on his back. That's epic. <laughs> that means he can fly just about 60 feet. Oh, man, can they get to you? Because that, that was a sprint. How fast are the little dudes? They're fast! <laughs> little dudes! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, you, yo, yo, bozos better be worried, the little dudes. Let's put them on the grid. <laughs> Yeah, little dude world. 40 feet. 45. They had 50 feet, baby. Oof. Unless you're swarmed again. Ah. Mm. They're, gonna, they're gonna get you. Another barrage of claws and bites. Where, where are they? One, two. Oh. Let's see how you're doing against this barrage. Still a 19 AC. I, that that is, probably doesn't change. Mm -hmm. Nope. Three, three more hits. The, the trifecta. Um, doing math. Hold on. <laughs> 29 points of damage this time. Yes, one crit you again. Ooh. I'm kind of... How much health do you have? 12. Oh. So we can't risk another one. Uh -huh. No. No, no, no. Uh, Lex. <laughs> oh, is there anything Lex can do from all the way over here? you got some 120 feet spells, right? Yeah, you know what has a range of 150 feet? Oh, 150? Oh. Fireball. <laughs> oh, 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 no. <laughs> so I mentioned it at, I can't get uh, both the swarm <laughs> over here and this guy. They're just far enough apart. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to create uh, a lightning flavored fireball right over here. Ooh, very, very good. I was going to say that. They won't there. even know it hit them because it's not, not like a ray or something. It's just like, a oh. dot that appears and then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A, a little. Hey, what's this? <laughs> what? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> My fellow Vargas, <laughs> you gather round to this. <laughs> I found a strongly marvel. It's Don't literally give them that epic. <laughs> Ooh. 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 <laughs> Eight D six, eh? Hmm. <laughs> My brothers, let us all roll. Con save <laughs> the dexterity <laughs> saves. <laughs> My brothers, <laughs> brother, help brother. Me. All right. Uh, one crit succeeded, which doesn't do anything for him, but reduce it by half. 
He failed. He succeeded. He failed. He failed. He failed. He failed. That's okay. So two, two, Pretty one. Half of two. Half of twenty nine, huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fourteen. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. Fourteen or fifteen. That, that nine was not letting me think. It was like, <laughs> the gear my mind. I can like... see like the gear get stuck immediately. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Hey. Dead babies. That's something. Hmm. Some of those babies are gone. <laughs> Brother. You, uh, <laughs> you hear the screams of many fiends on a rooftop this day. <laughs> and the sound of things hitting the pavement as they roll off. This is the, maybe the first time that they've ever experienced thunder coming before the lightning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they are not happy. Well, two are not, three are not happy, four are dead, so I don't think... Mm -hmm. I think they can have an emotional state right now. Unless they wake up well, in Well, that's, that's the only thing I can do. Because I don't think Misty Step is really going to help here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the book As a bonus just... action. What's so... this book doing on the ground? <laughs> <laughs> I catch up with Lex and I grab the book off the ground. What are you doing? You can't... <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> do not do yeah, that. So, that's the turn. All right, Silas, once again, you are swarmed. Yeah, without my divine shit, I probably can't one-shot these things. So Silas is just going to turn to Ra, and just, like, the panic look gets a little cold, and he's just going to grab her by the shirt, put her in front of, like, hold her close, and it's going to try to run away, provoking opportunity attacks from everything, and try to get her away. Towards the dock, I assume? Yep. Right. Towards the monster that's running right at us. Let <laughs> us look a human at shield. The dog. Lion man shield. Okay, and our uh... DM managed two combat screens. I <laughs> can absolutely try. Let's have a look here. Alright. Uh, boom. Let me copy y'all to the other screen real quick. Um, well, if you even make it, because, you know, you have to move. You have, you have to be alive to move. So three opportunity attacks. Uh, at advantage, because of pack tactics still. Mm -hmm. Let's see if you can make it to the other screen. <laughs> <laughs> and if not, I'm getting rid of all of their attacks of opportunity. Ah, uh, okay. So this is, this is going to be... Four attacks that hit you. And yes, one is a crit. <laughs> oh, oh my god, well. That's what happens when you got a manage to hit, baby. Garbage. I'm down. Yeah, it will not be rolling Gabonzo beans today, let me tell you that. Well, actually, I mean. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, that's another 29. Surprisingly. Yep, I'm down. Ooh. But at least move raw ah. one place forward. <laughs> they just moved her in front of me. I really mm. wish you would have disengaged. <laughs> <laughs> would have been cool. <laughs> that would have been a cool move. I would have been like, wow, that was so cool of you. Mm -hmm. um, it was either move oh, that 25 feet and die the next turn, or move a hundred feet so they could have burst to speed but mm. alas yeah yeah uh you are on the first three attacks did 24 would that have put you down 24 Ooh. yeah that's a little put me down then the last one would have bitten at you and probably caused a few death saves. Mm -hmm. I think it's just normal damage. They, well, they hit with you down and you get crit when you get hit. Mm -hmm. So, so I think you failed two saves. Yeah. 
you know, just in case someone comments in the comments saying, you know, <laughs> I got to appease the bloodlust. Uh, who, who's, whose turn is it now? It's it's the next round. Okay, I need to roll initiative for that dude who's off screen real quick. Because mm -hmm. we've got to see where then when when they are showing up. Why do I have to write a song that I get to listen to <laughs> yeah. as I die? Why? <laughs> like, man, this is a bop. It's a good song to be killed to, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, they are all done. He's not. So that one's also going to fly 60 feet and join his friend over here. Let me move the camera there. Three Burkeists are now all in a cluster. Uh, then these two who are, have been exploded twice by lightning and have very little health are going to fly the hell out of there. They're not having that. Um, but Ra, you can see a, 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 a large boy running at you. Let me, let, let me, let me, let me grab him. Um, no, he, he was on a different thing. Uh, hang on. Let me, let me put his turn on. It didn't do it properly. Running up to you is one of the smaller brute fellows. And, uh, well, I mean... Oh. The, you had to run to the edge of the screen, didn't you? That's... <laughs> I am trying to get out of here. Let me, let <laughs> yes, me, I had to do that. Let me let me do that real oh. quick. Let's see if I can do that. Do not peek beyond into the abyss. <laughs> for a moment. Um, yeah, let's put it there. And then just shrink it up by the, 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 the a smidgen. There we go. Now there's room for my friend. <laughs> As they are sprinting off screen to wallop you. Um, they are able to use their charge ability, which is not good for you. But you are blade mm -hmm. dancing, so. Yes. Um, they're going to make a claw attack against you for their charge, rolling a nat 1, so they uh, eat pavement on their way to you. Uh, mm -hmm. Not good. Good, good. <laughs> so their charge was kind of bozoed a little bit, but mm. they still got two more attacks. No. Oh. I wanted that charge, man. <laughs> um, is your shield still up as well? This is a new round. It is. Uh, so no. Okay, so um, you have twenty-one AC. Yeah, oh, it, I, don't, it, I don't know. It, it lasts it until is. the start of your turn, and which it's is like right now. now, right? Yeah. So it should still it's, be up. Yeah. Yeah, it should. Still I, be up. I I don't think it's up because I did a shield before I had my first turn, um, and then I had my first turn thunder stepped away. Right. And now oh, okay. I'm being attacked okay. again. So I can use another shield if this thing is going to hit a AC Dude, of 21. Both of these look like they're going to get you with 21. Oh yeah, shield. Wom. Then uh, absolutely none of these will hit you. <laughs> it it, it double fist like. slams down on your shield <laughs> and roars at you in anger that it didn't get to do its super cool ability. But uh, <laughs> Comet! Mm. Tough luck, sucker! <laughs> you say standing right next to Silas. <laughs> <laughs> Big swarm. <laughs> You're getting like, picked to death. Alright. Oh, dang, okay. I'm gonna have... Um, let me look at... I'm gonna have me and my... Dob a double mm. drop concentration on invisibility. Alright. So now me and Flotsam are visible. Mm -hmm. um, 
And oh, oh, wrong, wrong tool. I'm gonna walk, or I guess run this way. While I'm here, I'm gonna cast uh, Long Strider at level Ooh. two, so I get both me and Flotsam, so we get mm -hmm. an additional ten to our speed uh, for an hour. So we have an additional ten feet to our speed. Um, so if I only went twenty, now I can go twenty again. Um. As I just say we gotta get <laughs> we, we gotta meet up with them. Um, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. And then where I was going next, I can't even really go anywhere after that. Um, hmm. I'll just try to get over there. Yeah, I can't. I guess you already used your spell though. Yeah, I can't dash. Around. Um. So then, bonus action. I don't know if I want to spend too many of my spell slots yet. I mean, it mm. seems pretty dire, seeing as uh, yeah, you do. No, right, you Silas can could die see on this Silas system. on the ground. Like you saw him fall if you were watching them. No, yeah. The thing is, I can't do anything that yeah, far. Yeah, well, yeah. Anything yeah. I do would be yeah. like me. Yeah. Uh, so I can't get there that fast. Mm -hmm. Um. So that's kind of gonna have to be my turn for now. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that's my turn. Alrighty. Hurrah. Cool. Uh, <laughs> beautiful. Love mm -hmm. it. So, I'm gonna stand on top of Silas, although you're gonna have to let my token go up in front. Ah. Um, Will do. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna occupy that space. Mm -hmm. I can't heal him, unfortunately. All I can do is try to potions? take the attacks. Actually, wait a second. I do. Do you have them um, written down? What do what we got? I do have them written down. To use a potion on another person, do you consider this an action or bonus action? I. Unless we can pull up when we've done it before, I'm pretty sure it's an action. <sighs> Excuse me. This Easy. is gonna you suck. Have two potions of healing. Oh yeah. Yeah, I do. Silas dying, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I think that's you in the bad position. Uh... I mean, do what you can to survive, because if Silas dies, he also just becomes pocketable. Yeah, but you also have to be there to pocket him. Um, You also get a health regen thing with Silas's essence, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Oh, yeah, not, no game here. Just, <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm trying to think what Ra would do in this situation. I think understanding that she doesn't have the time to tell everybody, like, hold up, pull out a potion, give it to Silas, and not get the sh shit smacked out of her. She is going to hope that Silas can just hold on. Mm -hmm. um, she's going to say as much, like, even though he's unconscious. It's like, hold on, Silas, don't give up! And then uh, she's going to cast Blur on herself to negate the pack tactics <laughs> and occupy this space. Oh, I think also, uh, since I have the bonus action, I'm going to use it to um, put some fire on these swords. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, fire on one sword, actually. All right. Well, Conservative. <laughs> I'm trying to think the way that it works with um with the extra attack on a blade singer you can cast a cantrip when you use your attack action in place of one of the attacks yeah. so I'm wondering if if I do the bonus action attack do I have to use the offhand weapon or can I use the same weapon again uh I guess in 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 all terms of because if you didn't have your offhand weapon, you could still do that. So probably. Mm -hmm. Then I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll say, just yeah. quickly 
on one sword. Yeah, let's see. Uh, three damage on myself. Uh, and then we got the blur up. I think I would probably do that first, then put blur up. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't have to make a, a saving throw or anything. Um, that's it for me. I'm just going to try to hold out as long as I can and hope for a miracle. Defense mode. All right. A large, a large cannot make it to you in an attack. So they're just going to kind of land here and you see them getting ready to attack up next time. Other homie also aren't. So they're going to land on the roof and wait a turn. What's um, now visible to the world? How much movement do I have? 40? 40. Yeah, 40 10 now. plus regular mm -hmm. speed. Which okay. carries over to dashing. See. So mm -hmm. you'd have 40 AD. feet there. I'm gonna use my mantle of inspiration on myself and Comet. I don't think I can use it on Lex. He's in your pocket, so. Uh, so that's gonna. Oh, why is my screen? Uh, my screen is frozen. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can, yeah, we can hear you. you. Mm -hmm. It's a bad time for this to happen. Uh, I'm gonna try and restart. Uh, try and restart roll, roll twenty. 20. Um, what I want to do is use Mantle, mm -hmm. so I'm restarting World 20, so it's going to be 8 temp HP to myself and Comet, because mm -hmm. I can't hit the others uh, from this distance. Uh, I'm going to use my reaction to take the bonus movement, which for both of us will be 40, so we can both move our movement speed. Sweet. Um, sorry, I just want to make sure I put yep. 8 temp HP on. Um, so let me move 40 and see how far I am. How do I... Oh, shit. Ooh. How do I check how much... You money grab money your I token have? and then press Q. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I can get there. Oh, man. That's not a ton of distance. I can't really... Uh... You do still have your action, I think. I know, I just, I, I just can't hit anybody with the kind of thing that I want to hit them mm -hmm. with. Because I want to draw them from... Mm. You don't All even right, think I'm they see use... you right now. Like, they, they don't know that yeah. you two exist at this point. I know, but I'm wondering if I want them to know yeah. that we exist. So yeah. I can maybe draw some of the ire of them. And I'm 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 stuck between trying to get them to notice us and uh, getting us closer. But mm -hmm. I don't know what Lex. Can, I'm just going to use my action to dash and try and get closer. Um, and that's. That's all I can do. I have to end my turn there. All right. The Trinity of Varg Heists. Now, is there anything stopping me from attacking Silas even though you are on his spot? Does occupying defend that at all? Not I sure. So. I think that's a rule for that. I, I don't think there's any specific rule. Yeah. Mechanically, I don't think so. I, I don't know. I I would guess like it's kind of if we're occupying the same space, it's possible that it would be like a called shot. Like I want to aim for the dude's arm, right? It, like mm. it's, it's like we're in the same space, but that's not really written anywhere. I would just think it might. Yeah, work like I guess that. it is also like you're not meant to be able to occupy the same space ever, even if down. I think. Mm -hmm. I think it like always shoots you out if you're in the same think technically space. You, yeah, can, don't know. you can think technically you can move through yeah, creatures but you can't occupied stay on. space if they're friendly. I think that's rules is written. Hmm. But two of these will go for you because they are more interested in the alive thing and not having it be alive. 
That's absolutely what will happen. So, uh, without the advantage, they will roll nothing that can get you at all with 21 AC. But the, the one that downed Silas is kind of excited to have killed a thing and is gonna do his due diligence as the coyote of this world to drag away their kill uh, by sinking their teeth in and trying to just sneak them out while you're distracted with the ones overhead. Uh, uh, would Lex be in range to do the, like, shield ability ooh. we discussed? Like, once per long rest, he can cast shield or absorb elements on someone else? Hmm. Would he be within range? I don't know if we specified a range. I'm not sure if we did either. I feel like, because it would either be 30 or 60. Yeah. Eldritch, flip me a coin and call heads or tails. So both call it and flip it? Yeah. He heads, it's uh, whatever you call is 60, whatever you didn't call is 30. <laughs> Don't think I have a coin. Can someone else flip a coin? Well, yeah, who has a coin in this economy? Isn't there a coin shortage? I got, I got a plastic coin on They're me. They're ready to just roll a yeah. D2 as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Just call one or two. I suppose yeah. that's essentially what we're doing. Yeah. Okay, one is 30 coin, feet, though, two is anyway. 60 feet. Okay. Two is 60 feet, okay. Is there a D2 roller? I, if you, 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 you put it right there. D2. Yeah, if you do R slash I got a doubloon. <laughs> doubloon. Does what? it have different sizes? Uh, slash R, slash I R, think. Slash R, slash R, yeah. R okay. Yes. Yeah. Slash R, space, uh, then one. Going across swords here. I suppose and this way the, the, the people can it. see. Yeah. The, 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 the people mm. will know. The people will know. It's that, but without the dot. Mm hmm Because I don't want to roll it. I don't want to be. I don't want to be that guy. I'm not that guy. <laughs> You're not that guy. Well, fudge it. I'll make it a one. <laughs> no. He hey. it Ooh, so, <laughs> so should you need it, your AC can be raised by five. Let's see if you need it. Um, and also, I don't know if you de if you when you received the mantle, you could have moved forty feet. I don't oh yeah, know if, you, did if you haven't moved I did. forty. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I use my action. That's why I'm so much further. The little man. Twenty-five to hit me, or twenty-four. Okay, never mind. You don't need to do that. But now we know. <laughs> they rolled uh, <laughs> with advantage. Uh, they rolled seven seven and six seven. Whew. This uh. This poor little man. <laughs> but yeah, now we can add into the, the, the lexicon that it is. Whatever their thing is. is 60. Yeah. We'll call it help a homie. <laughs> help a homie hotline. It is 60 feet. There we go. I don't even, I'm not even writing all the other details about it. <laughs> it just is 60. It's 60 feet. Speaking of... Oh, they did nothing that turn. Poor guys. Uh, Lex. Well, gee, aren't there a whole bunch of things <laughs> in a small space? Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to hit as many with a fireball without hitting uh, Silas and Ra. That would so, probably be he these right four here. then. Yeah. Probably I mean, wouldn't be able to hit this little you, dude because that would be. go above and. You probably, because Silas is prone, so you could probably miss Silas and hit me, but I have fire resistance, and I also have evasion with my swords, so... That is true. But these I things are, like, resistant to fire, I think, so... I mean, that's why I've been mm. using lightning in the first mm. place. True. So. Oh. Let's see, let's yeah. see. I'll, I'll just I'll hit the four of them. Hit the four more elements for you, yeah. Bro. <laughs> yeah, I'll hit the four of them and not risk Ra get, uh, getting hurt. Oh. That's the plan. 
Raw dark. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Ah, oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Fuck. Nah, whatever. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to be the guy who is made this... a duck joke. Is this every single thing we got? Huh? Is this... Do I have to make a save for this? No, 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 no. No. You're okay. okay, just making sure. Alrighty. Uh, two little dudes failed, so they're on their last limbs as they take... 24 points of damage. Ouch. One big man survival. We'll, we'll call that the one on the roof. They take 12. The one on, not on the roof takes the 24. Another crackling explosion. Uh, that's still just a point that explodes. I don't think... I'm going to make them roll a perception to see if they can tell where these explosions are coming from on their turn, but... Uh, till then, Silas, roll me a death saving throw. Bing bong. Nat 20. Nat 20. Oh, 11. Success. We'll take it. You live for another moment. <laughs> uh, this one over here, he might be able to see you fellas on the roof. Let's have a look, actually. No, he done We're done. not doing anything exciting. Yeah, like, he's, he's, he's done yeah. so <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna, they're gonna run yeah, here I'm, and just get ready. Common and Flotsam are sort of pink panthering their way. All right, this guy though is gonna unleash fury upon you, Ra, uh, trying to. <gasps> Beat you oh, up. Uh, you don't have shield anymore, I don't think. Unless you've done a new That's one. That's true. It's a, it's a new round. Hmm. It's a new round. But you are blurred. So, uh, so. Disadvantage. I am blurred, so mm. it's an AC 21 disadvantage on the attack. Oof. At least for him. For the little guys, I think it's just regular yeah. because of their pack tactics. Well, it looks like the chomp is going to get through this. Do you have any more shields up your sleeve? I okay. So I'm gonna wager here mm -hmm. that you didn't roll two twenties in a row because that would be ridiculous. Yeah, two net twenties so, in a row. That's imagine you got just kind of a really high hit. Yeah, you got kind of like oh cool, like an eighteen and a seventeen or something. Um, so I am going to shield, bringing my AC to uh, twenty. Something it's like a million. Twenty-one 20. plus five is twenty-six. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he doesn't eat you. Ah, <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> and comet, it is your turn. It's my turn. You're the forty feet. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> How close can you? So movement is here, and then action. Action dash, action man. I think I can. <laughs> action man? Here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How does Silas do this every day? <laughs> oh god, my, my plate armor. Uh, uh, bonus action healing word on Silas. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Right, can't still can't. Still not, it doesn't that, work. Plus, that plus four. <sighs> okay. Seven. You get seven HP. Oh, it's <laughs> You live Good. again. A voice wakes you up, a voice you're very familiar with. And you, uh, your sweet. arm is yes. being dragged Not away again. by a... <laughs> Not again. Actually, could I... Um, uh, could I uh, reaction Starry so I can get another D8 on that heal? If you have a reaction, yeah. Yeah, I do have my react. So you can also get... Just... Hey! Ooh. Yo. So you get another 12 on that. Very nice. Okay. God damn, Comet. Wake up. <laughs> get up. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up. It's morning. Uh, that is my action. Alrighty. Or my turn. <laughs> uh, Ra, you hear a word sing out through the air, and you <laughs> hear 
Silas uh, uh. being roused from his slumber beneath you. Okay. Which one has their teeth or claws in Silas right now? Which is the guy? Uh, probably the bottom one that didn't just get exploded. This dude right here? Mm -hmm. Or the big dude? No, nah, the, the, the little dude. Little dude? Little dude's gonna fucking die. <laughs> uh, I am going to... Make an attack roll with the Hellion's Claws, Ooh. my super cool new sword that he was so gracious enough to let me have. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, take it. Yeah, yeah, we're just going to see what we do here. Let's see. They snap Did on impact, hit? they were fake. Close. <laughs> 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 uh, but that does miss. <laughs> that does miss. Okay. Ooh. All right, all right. It's all part of my plan. Don't okay. worry. Uh, as part of my attack action, as a blade singer, I will cast a cantrip blade ward on myself. So if I end up getting hit, I have resistance to piercing, slashing, and bludgeoning damage from mm -hmm. weapon attacks, which count natural weapons like teeth yeah. and claws. Thank God. That's <laughs> thank God. That's a ruling. Because um, if it was like, yeah, only swords, but yeah. not claws, I'd be really <laughs> pissed off. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to make a bonus action attack, and we'll just, let's just hope. Well! Mm. They're, they're, they're tricksy. They're jumping back and up. forth. And they're <laughs> mad at you. <laughs> cool. Um, so that's, that's my turn. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep. Probably a good thing you have the blade ward up, because two <laughs> homies... Yep are both kind of swooping past you to attack you. Um, and by swooping past, I mean they just land and, like, start chomping. They, they're both going up, so... You know. <laughs> the question is, how long can I last with the, what I have <laughs> left? Which, by the way, is one first-level spell. Mm -hmm. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need. I guess I have another blade song. If I run out of my blade song, mm -hmm. I can do another one. But um, I might as well roll all their attacks because there's two of them. <laughs> one of these attacks looks like it's getting through, and your shield is gone once again. Yeah. Well, I didn't have a shield last last turn, or did I? Yeah, no, you used it was... right before oh, your right. attack. Okay. okay, hello, cat. Um, Welcome. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm not going to use shield because I blade ward up, and because I also blur up, I'm going to wager that it's not double crit, meaning a crit. Uh, so, I'm just going to take it and hope that I can withstand it. Uh, that's a fair enough assessment as you take 14 points of slashing damage. Is that half? That's the half. Oh, that that is before half, so seven. So oh, seven, okay. Yeah. Oh, thank God. All right. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah, dude, now you're going to do a non crit deal <laughs> like two billion. And not in his room. And I keep my blur. Still blow it up. Uh, that was both <sighs> of them. Flotsam. What's up? I'm going to say, we have a boat to catch. <laughs> and I'm going to use Mantle of Inspiration. Uh, on all of us, God willing. So, <laughs> <laughs> so unfortunately, Comet cannot use it because you mm -hmm. use your reaction to use Starry Form. Mm -hmm. But Ra and Silas will get eight temp HP and can move your movement uh, away. Yeah, and the cool thing is, I didn't use my reaction shield, so I can do this. Yeah, oh. yeah. forgot that that was a so, thing. Yeah, so... Bye! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so bye. you move... Towards the, towards the pier. You the eight, move. Don't forget the 8 temp HP. It's mm -hmm. pretty much all I can give you. If you fit, so you have to use half to get up know, unless yeah. you have something else that lets you get up for free. So no, I gotta use half to get up, but that's still 25 feet of movement. Because hmm. I have 50. Alright, so you do both not provoke opportunity feet. attacks. It's my last use of mantle. Uh, no more doing that. Uh, no more <laughs> using mantle. Uh, mantle's gone, uh, like so many spell slots. Uh, goodbye, bardic inspiration. Goodbye, okay, everybody. 
I've got to go. Uh, so I've used 40 feet of my reaction movement. Mm -hmm. I would like to cast Shatter at third level on the the lot of them. It's a 10 foot radius, so I think I can hit all of them. Okay. Oof. I love how a lot of our good like AOE spells are just really loud and drawing <laughs> all the I mean, these people us. are the close. I mean, I think I might be able to kill some of these. Things, yeah. So I, I would rather yeah, just have probably. them be dead. All right, uh, shatter. For him, then. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, that's uh, this dude really gonna get a double net it. twenty on the save? This dude's epic. <laughs> I'm glad it's on a save and not on me or Silas. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Don't so save 20, with the D20s. Twenty-three is the total amount of damage. Uh, twenty-three. Not thank you very much. Got to do this one-handed now. He's got a cat in the arm. <laughs> All right, so far left big man, double net 20 saves, uh, 23 half to rule go 11 for convenience. Um, He failed, he failed. They both take three. 23. Mm -hmm. D3. Man, the one that double saved was the one you wanted to. Okay, he's obliterated. Get out of here. <laughs> oh. No. He's obliterated. 23, you say? Uh, you know what? He's on like true health. He, he, he's like plastered to the floor. He's not going to do anything, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I accidentally deleted his team leader, so it's whatever. He'll scamper away if he wants to anyway, but Lex is up next, so I don't think you'll probably have too much time <laughs> to scamper. Um, anything else there, Flots? <laughs> yeah, I still have my movement, so um, I can, I'm going to try and, I mean, I'm leaving Comet behind a little bit, but I still, I'm staying on the roof so I can still have maybe line of sight to him if mm -hmm. I need, but I kind of trust that he'll be somewhat okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, I'm going to, Head towards the docks with Lex. If I can, try to like maintain some amount of line of sight for Lex, but we'll be about we'll we'll only be about twenty feet away from that like sort of kerfuffle of yeah yeah. So, get you onto the other screen. All right, and old Lexi boy. You'll never guess what Lex will do on his turn. Oh, oh no. Ah. Stab Flotsam well, in the yeah, back. I literally can't. <laughs> no. uh, Lightning was made no. out of fire. Mm -hmm. Oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Lex is pissed. <laughs> Lex is I've got like, spell slots to burn. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, jeez, I wonder why. <laughs> you get them. Oh, it's probably the screen. Yeah, there we go. They're getting a lot of nat 20s on saves today. What the hell? Stop rolling nat 20s, cheeky. <laughs> no. You have the most luck out of it. Like, legitimately. I do also roll about a million times per game as well. Yeah, so. yeah. I think frequency of yeah. rolling compared to amount of the nat 20s is probably... Uh, why am I rolling for the little dude? He's got two health. What? <laughs> <laughs> Was Next, you're going to tell me a D20 super? is like a 5% chance, which isn't all that much or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, no way. Five chance, chance. You didn't add code angle into the mix of that calculation, so. I'm not sure. Do does everyone get that reference? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> when uh, they I'm, do, yes, they will yes, I've seen. I'm a genetic freak. I've seen I'm it, a yeah. genetic freak. <laughs> I'm a genetic freak, and I'm not normal. <laughs> <laughs> add code angle into the mix. Your percent <laughs> chance drastically go down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, oh man, this <laughs> sucks. A lot of these dudes are on very low health, but not dead health. If that makes sense. <laughs> that um, does, actually. 
Silas, you're on a whole nother screen right now. Allow me to, mm -hmm. um, drag you onto the dock to see what you can do. And there is a moon touch beast on this. Screen. Yeah. If there is, <laughs> <I'm gonna> be... <laughs> um, you do see the ship is approaching rather quickly towards the docks. Oh. I'm pretty sure at next turn is the third round of combat, where if the 2d4 we rolled earlier is anything to go by, they might appear <laughs> next uh, round. Once, once, once Silas's turn is over, I believe it's the third round. Yeah. So it'll be after the next round of combat when they should. Also, I'm pretty sure Silas was behind Ra. Um, no, I mean, you had a yeah. lot more movement than them, surely. I have to stand up. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, what is your natural speed? 50. So you use 25 to get up. Oh, yeah, then 50, yeah, you'd be like five foot behind. I mean, it's it's, it's whatever. Like, you, gotta, you gotta pick up a little <laughs> way to go here. It does actually matter because I actually want to be next to her for what I want to do. I'll just take one step back or one step forward. Either way, you're there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did uh, you want I'm... me to keep pace with you? Because if, you, if you're like, wait up, and then Rob will slow down to like, keep pace oh, yeah it, it's all right because as Silas just runs by he'll just football grab her and burst to speed forward a hundred feet to the edge of the dock so we're over here now comet's gonna turn around and be like flotsam we did it we saved the day flotsam oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. that's my turn all right um do, 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 do. They, they see you zoot away but uh you know people are still on screen <laughs> uh hey comet hey this dude's got like <laughs> one health but he's gonna like very weakly climb up and just take a swipe at you the last dude's ran oh. away and made his head hurty <laughs> you're a big guy you, you got uh, it. no hey he crit you Cool. Oh, no. <laughs> the bite misses, though, so you know. Mm. Eight temp HP, baby. Uh, yeah, so you take 18 HP. points of slashing, so 10 okay. points okay. of slashing. Oh, hell. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. He, he takes a very lazy swing at you, but, like, hits you right in between the joint of a piece of armor, and, like, oh. it, it sinks in like butter. He, look, he looks surprised that happened too, honestly. <laughs> Whoa. Like, oh, damn. <laughs> Did something. <laughs> um, and from where you are, since the big man goes running after the others, there, you can see, and I kind of see the glow of torches rounding the corner where you came in. Mm -hmm. um, and you could see the uh, large flying creature that was with the group at the start um, kind of flying above the building insinuating that there might be quite a few people out of your <laughs> line of sight running along that path to right, right, right. Catch you guys and they're probably either dealt with or got bored of your little distraction that you left <laughs> All so right. you, you think they are hot on your tail right now as you are there with a dude hanging off your shin. <laughs> Go! Um, I shoot. I had like an idea, but I think I might just have to cheese it. Mm. Is Longstrider concentration? No, it's no. not. Okay. No. That's why I chose it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's real good. Yeah. Um, I think I'm just gonna have to risk a hit. Uh, start start booking just it. Just book it. Uh, just book it. Eighty feet. Uh, off the map here. All right. Woo. Let's see if it can get that sneaky little hit off on you. Nah, roll a nine. So you ran forty-five. Mm -hmm. So you got thirty-five. Well, 80. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm just calculating for the next map. Oh, okay. How far are you going? 
Puppy. Got it, got it. Turn on up. The dog. We're all on the next map, so can you move me Yeah, to yeah. Because I'll... I've also been on the next map. So I can't <laughs> <wait>. <laughs> Just to let you know. <laughs> yeah, you stopped at a very convenient spot. However, uh, Comet, you're going to have to stop at an even more inconvenient spot. Mm. Hello? You going to... Die on me, roll 20. <laughs> Just trying to paste comment, like, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. We'll drag you all onto the dock now. Oop. Hey. Uh, I'll just have to tell you what the turn order, because the turn order's tied to the screen. It kind of sucks. Mm. But you're 50 feet right now, so you have... 30 feet left. Oh, I see. Yeah, so either you're going to have to try and make a wicked jump or <laughs> just scuttle down the building. <laughs> uh, I'm good. Uh, just, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm going to try to... There's not much else I could do. I'm just going to try to jump off the building. Uh, onto the other one, or onto the floor? <laughs> yeah, onto the floor. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, um, onto the floor. I don't think I can make that jump because of my strength. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to roll mad athletics, but yeah, it's easy enough to kind of drop down and kind of scuttle down. It takes like five feet, it's fine. The little Ghibli, like, lines across my model. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, how many uh, feet did you say I had left? Uh, if you <laughs> get there, you'll probably have 20 feet left. 20. Uh, see, Flotsam, I think we're, I think we're all running, so. Yeah, um, you got one more round to kind of be at the end of the docks. So I already used my action, so I think we're going to do that. And then I'm mm -hmm. going to, <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. Bonus action, healing word. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. Okay, so sick. And then the D8. D8. So I get an extra 14 back. Nice. Alrighty. Uh, Ra. You uh, grabbed, you are tucked under the arm of a sweaty, bleeding lion. Man. Yep. <laughs> I'm making art for this moment too right now. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, am I? Are we at the dock? You're at the dock, but where you are right now, uh, you're not sure how the uh, drive-by here would work. You'd probably want to be at the end of one of the piers. They're not really gonna okay. like go in, turn around, <laughs> and go turn out. They're yeah. probably just gonna <laughs> zoom by. <laughs> Okay, uh, I can see Comet and Flotsam running mm -hmm. behind us, right? I think Comet's still invisible. Uh, no. no. They're both no, invisible. No, I think they dropped that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna probably, hold on, let me, boop -a -doo -boo, boop -a -doo -boo. that's too much. I think I could jump. Like, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. do a cool kid <laughs> yeah I'm gonna be a cool kid I'm gonna jump that um, that's I guess it's gonna pass by so it's gonna be there for a turn and yeah. then that's when we make our movement yeah so it, it yeah, will like show case, up at the uh, start of next turn and you have your next stuffs to get the heck there cool Hell yeah. Then I'm going to just go there with my movement. Um, and with a, uh, I guess, an action, I'm going to. Do I want a blade ward again? <laughs> just, just in case. case. Mm. Just in Bracken case somebody out. shows up like right there like, hey, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Actually, I'm going to use an action to pull out my rope mm -hmm. um 
like stow one sword, pull out a rope. Essentially, I want to have a grappling hook on there. I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to climb up onto the side of the ship without the need of it. But if mm-hmm. these guys don't make it in time, I want to throw a rope out so that they can like snag onto it. Uh, so I'm getting ready for that. And then on the next turn, I'll do my my jump. Absolutely. Ooh, the, 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 the duo of Bergheists on the previous screen... Not looking the healthiest, but uh, we'll probably be there. Actually, I forgot about Big Man. Mm. Got to copy him over. Um, let me copy him over. Big Man. Let me get the Big Man. The Big Man. Uh, sorry, I didn't have him there. If if his presence, Comet. Just yeah. much of what you do. Feel free to stay on the roof and have used. Well, I think you already use your action anyway, so. I use my action to keep dashing. So I yeah, can, so if you want to keep up on the roof, feel free to, but. Mm, I mean, I don't think it would have changed that much. Maybe, maybe literally just. Yeah, if you want to be south a bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's it. Yeah. That is 100% fine with me. Um. But that is not the bad right now. The bad is the two dudes who can move 30, so they got to move that much to get on there. Anyway, I'm here, my friends. Let me take you to the other screen. Ooh. So they're there, and they will have to basically sprint to do anything so they're gonna sprint to kind of get there and there kind of like tokyo drifting (laughs) looking like they're gonna try and like stop you guys by getting in front of you a little but they can't do anything until later so flotsam You got the long stride across five feet to get off the roof. So it's falling, uh, so, basically. So, so <laughs> what I actually, I actually, when I left the screen, I had twenty feet of movement. So can I have? Can I just maybe start on the ground because it would be ten? It looks like ten. Uh, feet yeah, then... you had twenty feet, but like you said, you wanted to stay within line of sight of Comet. So I assume you would have just oh, stayed on the roof. But that's if fine. Seen I Comet that, running, that's fair enough. it's fine. That's fair enough. I'll use five feet to come down. Unless you wanted to use the 20 feet to do like an epic long jump. Uh, I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to try that. I don't, I'll die if I do that. Um, You're asking that to the people who have like characters who can like think and not Raw and, Com- and Silas. <laughs> My thought is I could, get parkour. I could get some serious damage in right now. But You did see these two hard. things getting like destroyed by Lex. Like... None of the things here look all that healthy. They're just kind of mm, baking yeah. on the fact that, like, they managed to down one of you, so they're kind of in a bit of a blood rage. I'm going to cast um, Shatter on these two Burgests mm-hmm. uh, at second level. i use my last second level spell slot. Uh, all right. Bing bong. One, two, a 15 and a 19 before I move it. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. This dude is completely shut down. Mm-hmm. This one's saved, so he takes half. Eight. He's still alive, but barely there. Drooling, the drool is just half blood anyway. It, it's not looking too happy, but it's looking like it wants to eat something before it dies. <laughs> well... Um, I'm gonna just head in this direction, mm-hmm. and I will have to end my turn there. All right, Lex. Uh, you ruled we can't do we can't if I do one spell I can't do a bonus action spell no, you can. in the same turn. Oh, you absolutely can. 
Yeah, I've been doing that this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. How much health do you have? 43. Um, I'm going to cast um, Healing Word on Silas, because I can reach him from here. All right. Oh. At level uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, yeah. Ooh, a max okay. healing word never never goes bad. Healing word bah. <laughs> oh wait. Um hold on one second. Uh oh, never mind. Uh it, no, it doesn't matter. Never mind. <laughs> I would have gotten. I forgot I had my warlock feed that gives me uh, oh, ten yeah, HP. Ten but, but, um, uh, which it's um, not just, that. It's not going to be more. It's 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 not more than eight. Uh, so oh, I would yeah. have. Uh, mm. Um. Well, it's it's superseded it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's so it doesn't supersede it. So it doesn't really matter. All right. I forgot about that. Uh. Then it is Lex. Um, how beat up does the Berg Heist look? Oh, so does it look like like magic missile would it take it out? Mm, one magic missile. One magic missile, probably, probably not. What about two magic missiles? Okay, <laughs> if you're talking like three more magic missiles, maybe. All right, all right. Um, mm, I see, I see. Hmm. Fireball again. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I am out of third level spell slots. I would cast Fireball again were I able to. Mm -hmm. What about fourth level? Do you have fourth level? Uh, have it, but spent it yeah. last session. Yeah, I think Lex banished you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. My favorite spell. <laughs> hey, he was mad. Yeah. Gritted teeth. Uh, yeah, then I'll cast uh, Magic Missile at first level and just send three bolts towards the Burkheist. All three. Ensure. Yeah. Can kill. Damage. Damage. It's 3d4 plus 3, I think. Yeah. Still up. Oof. Well, the third one's beating a dead horse, but... <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, Dunyan rings. Yeah. But if you're not poorly, he, he could have been. He could have been living. And he can't move, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That'll be my turn. He screams in fear <laughs> that <laughs> he's being dragged out over it onto the pirate ship once more. <laughs> Uh, Silas. That's my turn. Uh, <laughs> fair enough. Um, I think that dude from the other page, he's on like one health. He won't be able to keep up, who am I kidding? <laughs> um. Oh wait. No, this guy accidentally deleted you, not, not the other guy. You do you can do something this round. But that said, that one that doesn't want to approach this is the fourth round. So those of you on the pier do see you probably saw it approaching anyway, but um you see the ship with most of the people you know on board still as it's flying by. Let me get the tokens please and the, the water's just just rushing by as it's cutting it pretty close to the docks um most of the people at the uh, not the whole thing please i don't crash into the dock <laughs> they absolutely mm. beans it and now they gotta join you in the fight <laughs> <laughs> Right. Talk. Grabbing the boat. <laughs> we go <laughs> under. <laughs> um, he's like over here steering because he's epic. I don't know where the that's a bar. <laughs> yeah. That's a good reason to be steering a ship. 
epic. Hey, why are you steering the ship? Because I'm epic. So <laughs> epic yeah. uh-huh. uh, they all do. Uh, much like how, how you thought to, uh, they throw ropes off the side in hopes that <laughs> should none of you be great at getting up, that you will be able to grab on. Um, the big man, though, Comet, Mm-hmm. You see the boat, you're kind of far away. That's not good. No, I don't think I'm going to be able to make that. Yeah, you're going to have to figure something out and fast, but this dude, mm-hmm. he already knows what he wants to do, so what's up? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> he is... Oh, wait, oh, how far no. away was he? Ah, 15 feet. I don't know how much movement you got, dude. Okay, he backs up and then <laughs> runs at you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting my charge, I swear to God. <laughs> All right, first attack with the charge. Rolls to 17, you have 22 armor, okay. That's a miss. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you raise your shield and barely have to put in much effort to stop this guy. <laughs> but he's mad about it. <laughs> he uh, bites onto the edge of your shield, unable to hit you with his bite. But when he... He just gets you with his oh. other claw. God oh. damn. Four, 14. Slashing. Dang, that's a beefy hit, that's even without hit. crit. Yeah, these are beefy boys. And he uh, kind of ungrapples from you with his mouth and arm and roars at you. He's mad. Mm. But it's your turn. If it's any consolation. All right. Boo! I don't think I'm gonna be able to get there, but I guess I can try. <laughs> you do have eighty. Let's see, I'm just. I can't. I can't do the 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 disengage. Yeah, you probably have to risk the hit if you want to go the full eighty. I'm just gonna have to go there. Yeah. Mm. Risking the hit. Uh, can I... Can I have... Um, could I have grabbed Flotsam on my way there? Yeah, you're huge. It, yeah. <laughs> like, okay. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna grab Flotsam and take him with me. Alright. So you, you get, like, just scooped up by the huge arm, Flotsam. You're, you're right next to him. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, everybody grab your twink and let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, no. What have you done? Uh, That's the name of the episode. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining that and oh. finding Nemo like, Find your safety twink. Do you have your <laughs> Oh no. Do you have your exit twink? <laughs> yeah, alright, alright, Ra, it's your turn. <laughs> alright. Alright, Ra. Ra's got the rope. Mm-hmm. Ra sees cop from behind, but Com's got his hands full. But Flotsam don't. So Flotsam, I am going to throw the grappling hook to you for you to catch. And this is 50 feet of rope, so as long as I have the end, like, we got enough slack here um, to I can at least get to the ship at the other end. So even if you guys don't make it, I can, like, like tie this to the ship and drag you into the water as we pull you up. <laughs> yeah, so, we're, like, skateboarding with gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I, can I, uh, I don't need a lasso, I just need... Yeah, so you, you, you can also yeah. uh, roll a dexterity saving yeah. throw, Flotsam. Bay baseline, not not too difficult. You, you've you've caught grappling hooks in your day. Just don't roll yeah. awfully. Just a dex saving throw. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my god! All right, all right, all right. Easy. I am still right. a bum. Yeah. I still have the like dex part of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my dex isn't bad at all. <laughs> you know what? We could say that, like, the, the grappling hook, I throw it, and you just put your hand on its magnetic, boom. <laughs> <Just like, laughs> um, and then, yeah, I'm going to make a, a uh, running leap to the ship mm-hmm. here. Uh, since it's right there, I don't think I need to make any... I, if you want me to make a acrobatics to keep my balance, um, I suppose. Yeah, roll, roll a 
acrobatics or athletics with advantage, since there are many people helping you up here. Uh, acrobatics or athletics with advantage. Let's do acrobatics with advantage, uh, right. as I'm still in my blade song. Oh, yeah, easy. You're like, hands spring off of Silas, and then you just grab on easy peasy, <laughs> start of the boat. Uh, and that's these people not that's the turn. I mean, I guess my next move would be to start tying it to something secure, like I one of the the tags, riggings so. of the ship or something. But I don't know if I can do that this turn. Uh, probably not. Uh, but you could be holding it. Okay, boat, chill, chill out, boat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you you you, you would be holding onto this bit of rope. Yeah. I'm sure, you can see their names again. Bada bing, bada bing, bada bing, bada bing. All right. Yeah, I also realized that there's a little bit more than uh, uh, 50 feet. So in order to make that work, I think <laughs> I'd have to delay my movement or like a dash or something to like until they move to keep in time with them to make sure that we don't. I don't like gank the rope out of their hand or something, but I don't know if you want to even do anything with that. It might not come up. We'll see. The the, the bergs are gone. Flotsam, you are still in Comet's grasp with the thing. So if you leave it, the rope can definitely move with Ra as they're doing a cool flip. But you do know out of game that if you leave Comet, the boat will probably leave without him. So he's the one who really needs the the mm, rope. Yeah. So unless you like hand him your rope, keep running with the rope you were just given, and just <laughs> hold two ropes as you yeah. run. <laughs> so I, I guess I'm confused about what's going on. So if I the rope is needed because we're about to be dragged along with the uh, the rope because we're not gonna make well Comet's not gonna make it in time. Hmm. I can make it in time because I can get there. Um, I will. Maybe, ooh, I don't know if like, maybe is my action. So with my movement, because I'm using like an item as part of my movement, can I, rather than actually move, like do some quick sailor's knots to make it easy for Comet and I to like hold on to? And then with my action, maybe use like the help action to try and assist Comet in like getting onto the boat like should we be because my assumption i would rather stay with common and get i can't i can breathe i don't i i, I can yeah, breathe, you can, you can I, breathe I, underwater. I breathe. yeah so i was about to say i can breathe underwater but the truth is that i don't yeah. need to breathe so, <laughs> um, uh so i will that is what i would like to do for my uh with my action and my movement if that's possible dm uh, yeah, you could extend the length of the rope you were just given to, like, a hundred feet, because you also have a 50 foot. Yeah. And then you could just give that to Comet and then run the rest of the way yourself. So he would be holding in a hundred foot line with a knot in the middle, <laughs> which you will roll a survival to see how good is. So uh, that well, my might... Well, rather than doing that, I would rather just give the rope to Comet and just run to the end and get on the boat myself, uh, because he could still hold on. Can he still hold on to the rope? Yeah, but I the rope is only 50 feet right now. Oh, so it's not going to make it. To yeah, the, uh, so like, if, if you ran, you'd have to be like here to have you and Ra both holding this rope. Got it. I see. Yes. Okay. Then I will jump down and um, put the uh, rope, rope, rope together. Double rope it. And then you want me to roll? Should I roll it now? Yeah. Roll it. Roll survival now. See how that, well this knot is. DM, I'd... can I make a? Uh, can I make a? Uh, a plea to maybe use water vehicles in this sense? Absolutely. Uh, which I can have my proficiency to. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you've, you've been working on water bills, you, you know how to tie knots really well in terms of water vehicleage, so okay. I'll, I'll allow. <laughs> okay, what is, is our proficiency, what is our proficiency bonus? Three? three. I believe it's yep. three. Be this. So that'll be thir 11 plus 
So that's plus three. So 14. Okay. 14. 14 good rope. Okay. Um, all right. So we have an 100 foot rope. Let's put a little little coil here that's leading up to the boat. And I assume <laughs> you run the rest of the way to get onto the ship. Yeah, I can I can jump on the boat. I, have yeah. uh, I use my action to Yeah, swim. roll a athletics or acrobatics with advantage to be to get up on the boat. People are there to help yeah. you, so their chances okay. of you uh, failing are low but possible. Athletics or or acrobatics. Oh yeah, you're fine. Okay. Scarlet helps you up and <laughs> you tumble onto the deck. Uh, that fella. Yeah, Scarlet doesn't does. know who. By oh, the way, yeah, they're Scarlet very yeah, confused who, who the robot is, <laughs> but. Uh, it, it does yeah. look like she's like hanging out for somebody and looking kind of worried someone's not with you, <laughs> but. You know, yeah. in a high pressure situation. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Uh, Silas. I mean, you have a climbing I mean, speed. I don't think you really need to. I do have a climbing speed, but I also have a bad idea. <laughs> no, no, no. Get on there. Get on the <laughs> ship. <laughs> oh, but Comet's out there and he doesn't want to be risk it. So Comet, just... wouldn't, Comet wouldn't want you to come back for him. Ooh. <laughs> Silas is dumb. <laughs> Hello. I, I will. Yeah. I, I know. I can. I think I can predict that this is going to happen. And so once we're on the on the thing, are you already there? Did you already jump off? <laughs> well, he never got on the boat. He was never on the boat. Yeah, yeah. he was at the base oh. of the dock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll just call out. And then like, get, get us a turtle. Pull him up. We're open. <laughs> and gotta grab onto Comet and just pull him forward 25 Whoa. feet and just lock onto him really hard and stick the palm towards the boat and try to bone spear grappling hook onto the boat. <laughs> no way. <laughs> if you allow it, Cheeky, and it means I can pull myself to things Into that are bigger mast. than me. Alright, yeah, you are trying to grapple yourself and Comet, which you both probably together weigh a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, roll an athletics check with disadvantage. <laughs> oh, cross your fingers. Oh! Yo! A 19 <laughs> means either you let go and <laughs> you gotta let go of Comet and you make it, or you uh, might risk dislocating your arm. Oh, I'm going to risk dislocating my arm. <laughs> uh, well, then roll another one with disadvantage. Oh! You dislocate your arm. Absolutely not. No, I'm gone. <laughs> you hear a loud pop and like a whole <laughs> panel of wood is just pulled off the boat. And flings towards the two of you. Oh. Uh, but you are 25 feet closer, so. Yay. <laughs> but you didn't, I don't think, yeah, there we go. <laughs> that would have been really nice if I'd done it, but. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't really account uh. for having a, uh, someone else coming with you that is bordering a large creature wearing plate <laughs> armor enough for a large creature mm -hmm. and a shield the size of a door. <laughs> 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 Anyone else and it probably would have been fine. Bastion. But you, you budge barely. But you got the rope. So, hey. uh, <laughs> as the hey. ship Get on! Leave me <laughs> Leave me Yeah, if you're going to run. <laughs> Alright, the ship peels out. Um, the Viridian at the mast uh, drifts the boat out to sea. <laughs> trying to get the heck out of here. And uh, slowly you watch the rope kind of unravel from where it is. And uh, you will both, you're both going to have to hold on for dear life as 
Uh, this thing. Uh, let, let's see. Uh, Flotsam. Roll me a luck. Flotsam? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. I have minus two to luck. I remember when we did this at the very beginning. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Where's my luck stat? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, all right. That was a disadvantage. I'm sorry. So 17. No, no, no that's fine. Please. Yeah, yeah, that's enough for your not to, to stay here working. The, the, the DC was based on your not. Uh, so, Comet and Silas, uh, you, you put your feet on two loose bits of wood and you, you ski out onto the wall. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> One of you with a dislocated arm that really hurt. You can hear the beach entire body first. I died and came back. That's true. Mm -hmm. You didn't that's, die. That's you were just true. unconscious. Very, very mm -hmm. close to dying. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I think we all start heaving and like trying to yeah. pull them up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it takes a while, but with Silas and Comet being incredibly wet by the time they reach the <laughs> ship, <laughs> you are all finally uh, on deck <laughs> of the ship. In the <laughs> middle of the night, most of the people here still in their gym jams. But you hear. Uh, do I see uh, Pe Pelia? Oh yeah, <laughs> her, her hair is not neat. It does not look like she had time to brush it. She looks pissed. <laughs> I'm sorry, but thank you. Uh, <laughs> you can't see it because of glasses, which she still wears at night because she's a badass. Uh -huh. But you think she rolls her eyes. <laughs> as long as you're all alive, Make yourselves at home. <laughs> Thanks for the save. Sorry about the last notice. Uh, that's that's our bad. I think we all, as a group, can take responsibility for that one. Silas faints just in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should probably help him with that. <laughs> yeah, Morka comes running up. He's he's concerned about the. Everything right now. <laughs> I'll start trying to wrap up and like get that joke. Since he's fainted, I'm gonna try to pop it back in uh, uh, while he's <laughs> unconscious. Roll a roll a medicine with advantage because Mordecai's gonna help you. He kinda sees Wait. what's what's happened. Uh Oof, that's not great, but 14. <laughs> that, that's enough to reset a joint. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks painful, but, you know, they're, they're unconscious, so... Well, glad he's out for this. <sighs> well, if nothing else, we have drawn the majority of the city's monsters towards us, so if Adelaide is traveling with Graham, they're probably going to be a lot safer now than they were had we not uh, done an extremely stupid thing. <laughs> Raw. Hey, Flotsam! Yes. I want to know... What malfunction went through your head that made you think that it was a smart idea to stop all of us from pursuing Adelaide? I don't believe that I was thinking logically. I can walk you through I mean, my thought process, but I... Please do! Enlighten me. I think that... Adelaide... 
is on a journey, a path that I have noticed her being on since the beginning of this, and I think it's become clear to me that there's something in Adelaide that doesn't trust us, or doesn't want to trust us. And with the revelation of both her family's involvement and her, her closeness to this predicament, I th believe that in her mind, there is only one option, and it's one that she was going to pursue, one that she was going to pursue to the detriment of all of us. And for better or for worse, I believe she needs to continue along this path if she's ever going to find her way back to us. And if that is the case, I, th I believe that Adelaide is smart and brave, and she has a better chance of surviving that path without the rest of us for now. But I think that if we were to have chased after her or begged her to stay, if we, I, I think that if we were to beg her to stay, she wouldn't have. And you saw what happened with us running afterwards. I think we could have risked getting her killed if it was just us. Like you said, I think we provided the perfect distraction for her. My only hope is that with her and Graham that they will... My hope, and it is only a hope because as I said I was not reacting logically, is that Adelaide will come to her senses before this thing comes to a fruition. I guess I... This was important to her, and perhaps the rest of you didn't don't feel as I do about that, but she needed to do this. And this distraction was probably my last gift to her. Well, that was, uh, still very stupid. Ra, do you remember what you said to me? A long time ago, I asked you if I could, if, whether I should leave, whether you wanted me to stay, and what you told me was, that if I wanted to leave, that I could do so, that that was my choice, and that you wouldn't follow me. And... Right. I... But that was also when we were on the ocean, just the two of us, and there wasn't really anybody specifically that was after us. Nor was there any sort of ever-present threat. You, If you wanted to leave, you'd probably stop off at some port town and we would have parted ways this is a monster infested city uh that was ruled over by what we can clearly now see as a madman it's not the same she's confused she doesn't believe in herself despite the fact that she's the most talented wizard i've ever seen no offense Pelia, but adelaide is something else like you haven't seen what I've seen her do. I mean, just look at Lex. That's not normal. Even if even if it was like something that some other entities did, whatever her like schooling situation was, the fact that she can she has mastered that to to do things that I've never seen. She can copy down spells in minutes, which takes every other wizard hours. I've never known a wizard who can do it in minutes. She has understood magic 
that is far more advanced anything that we've ever seen, herself included, and has been able to dismantle it. She, it's not that she doesn't believe in us. She doesn't believe in herself. She's scared that she's not going to be able to accomplish this, which is why her and Graham have gone and they're going to try and make a deal with Quinn. And it's, and it's sad because they're just smart enough to know that this is really difficult, but not smart enough to understand how much they can actually do. Letting her go, I think, was a big mistake. I understand what you're saying, that she's on a journey. And in other circumstances, maybe yes. Maybe, you know, people need time to sort of sort these things out. But this is not one of those moments. This is the fate of the world, Flotsam. This is everybody. We don't have the luxury of just allowing Adelaide to just go off on a little walk and to try to sort this stuff out. Especially if it's a walk through, like, demon-infested streets. I'm not saying what we did was very smart. We forgot that nighttime is dangerous. That was, uh, that was foolish of us. But, I, I think that if we had, if you had not opposed us immediately, we might have been able to catch her before she got far into the city. We might have been able to have a discussion. Ra, it's in the past. Well, I think this is where you and I differ. Because after everything, what it sounds like to me is that you have concerns about what Adelaide will do. I should be clear that I still trust her to do the right thing. And chasing after her, I think would only prove to her what it is that she feels is that we don't... I'll stop there. Um, and then I'll say, it is in the past. I have Lex with me, and I. my only goal from here on out will be to try and return Lex to her. I'm... I've made a mistake, and I will have to try and remedy that. That's fair. To clarify something, it's not that I don't trust Adelaide will make the right decision. I don't trust Quinn to spare her. I don't trust that man as far as I can throw him. And I could probably throw him further than you could think. This is not... Her life is is at jeopardy, just being around that guy. Graham was never necessarily part of this group. Graham never really wanted to be. He wanted to work together with us on certain things, but like we never fully trusted him. And even when we started to trust him more, he then started to distance himself. Graham, we have no control over, and he's a free spirit. He's going to do what he's going to do. If he wants to throw his lot in with Quinn, okay. Adelaide has been with us since the beginning. And Adelaide left Lex behind. You obviously understand that that was probably not the nicest thing to do. Lex is clearly, visibly very upset about that. As am I. I think that... I think that she made a mistake. And she can try to push us away. But, like you just said, she can't. You're going to get Lex back to her. We are going to find her before Quinn can do anything evil. And we're going to make sure that she's safe. I understand why you did what you did, Flotsam. 
I might not agree with it, but all we can do now is move forward. He's doing this for Lex. How does Lex feel about that? He's been kind of just looking out at the water back where he came from. But as you mention him, he kind of looks to you a bit solemnly and then looks to Flotsam. No, I, I agree with Flotsam. He... You can't tell her what to think or tell her that she's wrong or... We can't just grab her and keep her prisoner until she's our best friend anymore. She has to realize it herself. And I know it's a dangerous area to do that, but... A lot has happened. She re-met her father who she thought was dead for... ever? She hasn't even talked about her mother, we don't even know where she was. This place... As much as we don't like it, is very tied to her and what she's doing, and... You all... Are some of the best people that we've ever met, and have done a lot for us. We don't trust people or talk to people, but you guys clearly were having a good effect on her. Lex, stop for one second. Ra, what would you do if you could return my memories to me? If you could make me flesh and blood, would you do it? What would you do to accomplish that? To return your memories? Uh, I would do... Kind of whatever it took, as long as it wasn't outright evil. Like, if you had to kill another, you know, one of your kind in order to do that, I think that would be probably a step too far, but... Barring something bad like that, uh, you know, facing whatever dangers, maybe flesh and blood, like actual? I, that's, Comet. I'm not sure about the morality of that. Comet, <laughs> yes. what, would, awesome. what, what would you do if you could save your sister? If you could bring her back? I... I would go as far as she would want. Silas? If you could have your life back again, with your family. Silas is... <laughs> oh, Silas is unconscious. I'm right oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll, I'll revoke that. <laughs> um, the issue is... I understand why Adelaide has done what she's done. Because we are all here because we want something. Lex is Adelaide's friend. She may, she may lie about it, but she loves him. And she wants to bring him back. Whether that's because of guilt or because of the personal attachment, I... I understand the allure of what it is that's pro that is possibly promised by Quinn. And I think all of the four of us recognize that that is a price that's too, perhaps too great. As Comet has said, perhaps it is the case that his sister wouldn't have wanted him to go that far, and I apologize for invoking her here, Comet. But I. I. I understand what you're saying, Flotsam. And I'll uh, kind of put a. Because I, I feel at this point, Flotsam's like really kind of struggling to communicate this idea, and uh, she puts like a, a hand on his shoulder and says, I I understand that allure as well. What do you suggest that we do? I 
I just want to have our friend back. But... Yes? But... <laughs> <laughs> we stole the cat, man, what the hell? I know. <laughs> We're gonna get back to the emotional moment in him. <laughs> Bit of ghost I, I want to have our friend back. And I think that's all we can all we can do now is try for that. But I I just need to be clear that we did we did this to right some of the wrongs to make to try and bring things back to a status quo of some sort. And what Adelaide believes is that, at least what I think Adelaide believes is that she can cut out the middleman. She can bring things all the way back to before any of this. And to her, if there is no cost too great, we just need to show her that there is another way. That this isn't something she has to do. That we can be the path to get the thing that she wants. And Flotsam, I think that's what we're trying to get to. I understand why you feel that she must not be around us to maybe understand that for herself but I've been trying to understand Adelaide for a while and I've been trying to help and I think she may need help from herself I think similar to Chosen she might have a lot of possibly a lot of ideas about herself that were given to her from other sources. She told me that she went to an academy. The academy I went to didn't have the best ideas. We've learned how difficult it was for her to be there as well. I'm afraid that she might be falling back into some of those ideas. If she needs to try to understand who she is, that's different. But what she's doing now seems like a cry for help. And what? What if she like? What if we did catch her? What would we do? If she's sitting here right now, how are we gonna help her? You're saying we're all here for her? We're gonna run off again? I don't think we could just sit here and barrage someone with our reasons on why they shouldn't be doing what they're doing. I see. This is this is the thing. I wasn't. My intention was not to capture her and bring her back. My intention was to go where she's going. Clearly there's something very important to her. I'm hurt because she didn't feel like she could trust us to come with her. Even if I don't agree with Quinn or this whole time travel thing, I want to make sure she's okay. Should Quinn backstab her or not maybe he's just like sure come along for the ride but like the cost is going to be great and then she realizes that or doesn't i want to be there to help her and support her to the point that's reasonable and if, if things go too far be there to pull her back so she doesn't do anything she's going to regret and I think that's why she didn't want us to come along. She doesn't want us to stop her from doing this thing that I think she knows is wrong. She's smart. She's smarter than all of us. She understands that what she's doing isn't right, but she's also scared of trying 
something different because the risks of that are much greater in the present. You know, if because like, we saw what Quinn did, Quinn can can cast spells and use magic that I've never seen. It's that's some powerful stuff. If this guy can just do that, and he also orchestrated this whole thing that we've had a headache dealing with for the past month and a half or so, I can understand Adelaide's sort of like, well, I'm going to throw my lot in with the guy that seems to have a plan and have it all together and is not struggling or appearing to struggle whatsoever. Uh, because it seems like he's got this all figured out. Whereas we struggle a lot. The problem is, we still don't know if his plan's gonna work. We're guessing that it might, but even if it does, what does that mean for this time? What does that mean for this world? What does the egg actually do? Is he gonna harvest all the energy into a spell and then uh, open up a portal? Like, how does that happen? We don't know anything about this this thing, nor does Adelaide. It's possible this could be a gambit. She could be trying to gather information about the the ritual or whatever it is. If so, then I think I should have given her more credit. However, I still feel like she should have trusted us to at least tell us that that was an intention, if it was. She would have told me. I think so, too. It oh, doesn't help that you laughed at him and Silas tried to punch him in the face. He was very honest with us. We could have got way more out of him. If we just played along a little. I don't really think <laughs> Quinn was going to give us much more, Lex. You never know if you are. Don't ask. I think we're in agreement about what needs to happen next, then. We have to rest up until the night is over, and then we will go look for her. Oh! Um, we met the Prophet, by the way. Of the cult? Yeah. Kind of an asshole. Sort of attacked us on sight. Not a nice dude. Um... That was kind of the reason we were on the run. Uh, it looks like during the night they go on the hunt for things. So that's something. We Perhaps. have to try to maybe not expose ourselves as much next time, but yeah. I think. Yeah, I agree. I think this time we didn't have much of a choice. Um, Flotsam, I agree. We're we're gonna go look for her as soon as we can. Um, for now, I need to take care of Silas, and make sure he feels better, because when he wakes up, he's gonna get an earful. I'm going to retire with Lex. I'll go ahead and pick up Silas and start making my way down to wherever we slept last time. I'm gonna go talk to Palea. I got I got some questions for her. Before we all depart from one another. Making a mistake doesn't make you a bad person. Comet is the one that taught me that. And then I'm gonna. Blow. I didn't teach you that. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That was just something. That, <laughs> so that's a callback. <laughs> it's a callback to something that Comet said uh, directly to me uh, a while ago. Okay. All right. 
Bro, stick to the script. <laughs> right. <laughs> you got the memo. Your line is look forlornly at the at the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Your line is shut up and let us have our seat. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be dramatic in my Dungeons and Cats shirt here, okay? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> yeah, I'll go down mm-hmm. stairs. Down below. Mm-hmm. Y'all are so good at Dungeons and Dragons. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here like my client. <laughs> you don't know what she wants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll make sure Silas is feeling tip top for tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you will. Uh... Head to places to sleep, but uh, Ra, you head to uh, Pelia. She seemed to mind her business a little when you all started to talk about serious stuff. <laughs> She's mm-hmm. told, telling everyone to kind of get back out to sea and, and deal with things while she goes back to sleep, but turns to kind of bump into you. I'll uh, Pelia, I want to apologize again um and thank you for coming to our rescue Uh, that was a dicey situation um what happened uh, yeah you deserve an explanation uh we had a a wizard with us adelaide you might remember her last time she was aboard the ship She Um, she decided along with another wizard friend of ours, Graham, that it was a smarter decision to throw their lot in with the guy that's responsible for all this stuff because he has this sort of convoluted time travel plan about going back into the past and undoing all the bad stuff. Um, We trust that Adelaide will come to the right decision eventually i just don't trust her safety in the hands of the guy responsible for all this and that's why we rushed at the last minute which was very foolish of us but uh we were kind of desperate to catch up and and we lost her today so we're hoping that she'll be safe um but i wanted to talk to you about wizardry i guess um you're kind of the only person I really knew who used, like, high. I, I thought it was high level magic. Um, but we. The, the king or whoever is running the show, this guy named Quinn, he, uh, he cast spells. I have never seen or heard of before. Like, he turned our, our lion friend. Can be very headstrong and act foolishly sometimes, as I can, but I would not call Silas an idiot. This man turned Silas into an idiot with a spell. And also just disappeared. Like it was almost like he was there one minute, cast some sort of thing, and then just disappeared, was gone. Um, and it wasn't, I, you know, I've seen enough magic to know like what a teleportation might look like or something this this looked like nothing i've ever seen have you heard of anything like that before uh, <laughs> she like was kind of tapping your chin as if she was taking notes but as you get to like the end of your sentence she kind of reaches up and like takes off her glasses and she looks pretty tired and she kind of like Rubs the bridge of her nose. <laughs> I'm not sure I have any idea what you're talking about. All I know was that it was very powerful magic, and this guy, I don't necessarily believe that his plan will work. But I know that it is harnessing enough 
essence, energy, whatever you want to call it, that when he does activate this thing and crack that egg, it's going to suck for everybody. Um, and I'm wondering, you're... I'm deferring to you. You're the only wizarding uh, authority that I, I can I can turn to at the moment. Like, what what is your take on this? How would you approach that? I wouldn't. Something like that. It, it should be left to other crazy, powerful wizards who do know what they're doing in, in that area, but. I know, as most do, that power tends to drive those crazy. When you know you can do anything, you tend to do anything. It doesn't seem like who you're describing really has a... You know, rolls her wrist a little... Any... Plan B's, it seems. I don't think there's any off switch to what are they planning. Someone so sure of things don't necessarily plan for contingencies beyond success. Okay. Now... Say we lack a super powerful wizard to deal with this situation. How much gunpowder would it take to blast this thing into the sun, do you think? She looks a bit confused whether you're serious or not, but I assume your expression is very serious. I'm not saying that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> I just want to explore how possible this avenue is. Well, more than this ship has. If you want me to get so you a fleet. lot of gunpowder, I could probably get you a lot of gunpowder. Whether you want to somehow get up to that egg, Egg, she kind of repeats, looking over at it. And strap a bunch of gunpowder to it to blow it out of the sky. Probably would work. I've never known much things to survive a lot of gunpowder. Whether it's a good idea to do that when you don't necessarily know if the thing inside the egg will survive the gunpowder. That's another thing. You might just be opening it. True. If we can have a sustained blast to thrust it out of, <laughs> you know, up in the sky into, like, the stars, right? And just away. Back to wherever it came from, you know, just like, that way, right? Mm hmm How much... How much power would that take? Like... Well... You know, maybe aiming for that is a bit of a, you know... It's it might be hard, but... Just gonna get an orb, I assume. If you could get a big enough cannon to put it in, <laughs> maybe it could act like a cannonball. And then the gunpowder. Okay. All right. Uh, How big is this? Thing? Go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. And she just like in that one, in that one sentence. It's like immediately dawns on her how <laughs> silly and extrapolated this this idea has become, and she's just like, okay, <laughs> and then joins everybody in the uh, the barracks. <laughs> oh boy! Yeah. Anyone who's still awake when she arrives, she's bad news. 
I don't think we can blast it into the sun. <laughs> we'll have to figure out a different method. And then she just flops onto like a, a <laughs> hammock or something. Oof. Yes, take a long rest if we can. Yay. Yeah, lest any of you want to do anything through the night, um, absolutely you can take a long rest. And Adelaide, you can too. You're in wherever you are. You're safe. Ooh. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> right, hey, that's yeah. meditating. We're not supposed to know that. Hey, guys. Yeah. <laughs> She's supposed to be dead in a ditch somewhere. Come on. <laughs> She's Yamcha in a crater. <laughs> <laughs> Like slightly to the left of when we got there, she's just in her own crater in the wall. We just never went that direction. Oh, no. <laughs> oh damn it, we just missed her. Mm. Oh. Menace. <laughs> We're kidding. We're kidding. Oh, no, they're, they're fine, I swear. Oh boy. Um hey, Flotsam. Mm-hmm. You're gonna be around for a bit, right, Phil? You don't have to go anywhere expediently soon? Not expediently soon, no. Alright, uh, do you wanna, like, come with me for, like, a, a second? <laughs> oh, that, that hurts yeah, to be yeah. asked. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you wanna I'm gonna go to the with me. You do whatever you're doing. Uh, my, yeah. my wife was in your sheets to interrupt this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know like, <laughs> yes, that's fine. All right, all right. Shit. Uh, <laughs> Would you like to join me in one-on-one uh, on one as everyone bunkers down for the night? Uh, sure. Mm. Right. Yeah. Uh, we'll be back in a second, cool. fellas. Cool, yeah. cool. Yes, I'm sure I want to join. Let me let me join my my friend. Where is my friend? Where, Where is... has my friend gone? He is not at the grave. Do not weep for him. For he is not there. Where's oh. the big screen? I need the big screen. Uh -huh. How do I pop out this? Yeah, right. That's, that's what I'm doing. Everyone, yeah. everyone hold on while we pop out some things. Uh, where's Where's the big one? You're making me very nervous. Oh, the no, big no, no, thing. no, 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 this is actually sort of a cool sort of island vibe, sort of a yeah, yeah. it's five o'clock somewhere type vibe of this one-on-one -on -one session. I have like the windows open right here, so that kind of acts as the sun behind me. We'll, we'll I mean, leave, you we'll look the island. I'd like to live on island time. I would love to live on island. Um, this this <laughs> this music's too normal for this. Let me let me find like the other music. As everyone drifts to sleep, and you're in your kind of, like, cool stasis mode, um, the sound of the ocean, now that you have time to kind of sit on it, is, is kind of hypnotic, like, the kind of waves, uh, rhythmically going by. Where's my old, like, music folder? This is, like... Eons ago, I used these things. It's been a while since we've been in one on ones. Yeah. All right. But here we uh, are. Here we are. The um interior of this place is rather dark, and and you're kind of just like staring at a corner with like no expression as you usually do in a stasis mode. Mm -hmm. But you kind of come to a little when you realize you're not in the ship anymore the scenery has kind of changed there's like 
lights kind of around, but you can still hear the water. And let me drag you specifically where you are. Um, the leb and the cameraman, because he oh. needs to see. Uh, you find yourself at, it, it feels familiar, but to us, we see it's like a fairground, kind of. But it's in, like, nighttime and there's no one around. Um, you're kind of wearing the same outfit, though it's, like, a little bit different. And mm -hmm. you feel like you're in the middle of packing up. Like, you have a violin, which isn't exactly the one you have. It's, like, your version, but brand new. You had a vision long ago of you being handed this violin yeah. by someone, by uh, someone who looked a lot like uh, the lady with the black hair at the camp. Yeah. And you, you look around a little, trying to compose yourself and kind of just take it in. And you can see two other Warforged also packing up musical equipment. One's this, like, rather large, wide dude. He looks like he's the drummer. He's, like, kind of slinging a drum over his back as he's lifting it all up. And there's a much, like, a thinner one, but it looks like he has, like, a metal kind of, like, goatee. Uh, like, for no reason at all. But they're also wearing, like, similar piratey, like, outfits. And you can, like, see the set behind you is, like, a ship. But one you'd kind of see at a fairground. It's like an amusement mm -hmm. ride or something. And it's all very odd, but you can see what kind of takes your focus down near the docks, kind of away from you. Is someone looking out across the water with jet black hair kind of reaching down to their waist? And it looks like they're also kind of carrying some sort of instrument in front of them. But it looks like they're waiting. And you feel like they're waiting for you. Um, I'll meet you guys at the... Um, uh, I'll, I'll meet you guys later. I'm going to go uh, catch up over this way. Uh, the, the larger one kind of gives you like a two-fingered salute. And they like say something... But you can only, like, feel, like, the resonance of it, of just, like, a kindness. There's no, like, nothing you hear, but the, like, bottom jaw that's, like, really big kind of opens. And you just feel this kind of rush of memory coming back. This guy being, like, a very nice person you once liked a lot. I should be writing some of this down. Okay. You As don't he, mind that I'm writing some no, of this go, down. No, go ahead. Okay. As he and the other guy kind of turn away and... With very exaggerated kind of animated walking kind of make their way down the pier towards what looks like a warehouse, which you kind of associate with home, kind of. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to head uh, towards, I guess, the woman, because I feel like that's where I should be. Hmm. Uh, you wander over, and uh, it seems to get their attention, and they turn around, and very much, like, Uncanny Valley, they look like the person you saw at the Babakin, but they have blue eyes rather than, like, the, like, purpley pink ones, the one that the Babakin had. And they also say something to you that you kind of only just get, like, the resonance of. Is this a, is, um, am I able to tell the, like, the sex of this? I mean, do they yeah, have It seems like a female. Female. Yeah. Okay. Um, woman. Okay. Um. And what are they, they're holding something? Yeah, it they're looks by like the they, docks, they have, like, are they, uh, in, like, a rather large bag. What you first thought to be, like, an instrument is, like, covered in, like, tools as if they're, like, maybe, like, some kind of worker here, like a mechanic or something. Um, we were performing 
the three of us. And they kind of move in like a laughing gesture as they like walk up and offer their hands to you. Like to like shake or to hold? Or uh, to, I'll to take hold. their hand, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll you, take you their offer hand. And it's like she like quickly kind of pulls it forward and you see like start to work on your wrist with some tools. But you get like an insane like friendly vibe from this person. Like this is like, this is your Ra right now. You get like, this, this is your best friend. But as you kind of get that, you hear from behind you, it doesn't matter how long you talk, they will not understand you. Do I recognize the voice? Not at all. And it is a voice rather than like everything else just being kind of resonance and tones. Uh, but I understand what they mean, even though it's just the resonance and the tone. Yeah. No, no, no. He, you can understand. This person who talked oh, to you just can, now can, is a hundred. Yeah, I can like, understand. Yeah. Yeah, okay. What do you mean? Um, He kind of like circles around, or they, they're a bit of a masculine figure, but they kind of move to your side. The people here, they do not respond in normal ways. They do not address you how people normally do. And where is it that I am? Um, if you uh, look over to them, or if you're making a point not to, that, that's, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, I'll look at them if they're by me. I'll, like, turn yeah, and... Yeah, they kind I, of yeah, stand next to you. And they, they seem to be looking at the person as well. And you can see they look like they're wearing what you now are wearing like flotsam in the future like out of memory flotsam is wearing but you can see at the head there's kind of like a seam where the head seems to be replaced and it looks exactly like the head of the warforge you dug up to get the stone from uh okay if i hazard a guess i believe we are in your mind your memories. And how is it that I can understand you? Because I am neither your mind or your memories. I believe. I apologize for what became of you. For a time, I felt perplexed by it, angry even, but having been here long enough, one has to accept what has happened. Did you have a name? I cannot remember one. All that is in my head for a name is Flotsam. But I believe that belongs to you. It does. At the very least, it's the one that I've chosen for myself. But perhaps there's another name that... I can't remember. You were able to choose one own's name. I suppose. Curious. Yet I believe even children of other species do not get to choose their names either. I guess you would be correct in that. Is there... Is this woman... Is there anything else that you can show me? I suppose that depends. What is it you want to see? Ah. Oh, I want to... I wish to see it all. I want my memories. I want to know who... Or and what I am.
And what if it is something mundane? Ah. Uh. Will this be my only chance to speak with you? I would not think so. This is your mind. Lest you lose it. I don't think I will disappear. If you want time to be here without my presence, I should like for you to stay. Kind of gives like a little forward bow. Would you like a name? He cocks his head. Well, it, they, the robot man, <laughs> also cocks his head. Oof. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what a name would do good in here, other than for you to address me. As it does not seem your memories can address me at all. It would serve to make me feel better about what I've done to you. And what would you suggest? Flotsam is the name used for damaged goods unwillingly thrown from a ship and jetsam, similarly, is ones that are willingly thrown. You and I now, for better or for worse, um, are connected in some way. I'm connected to my mind in this way, sort of unwillingly, but I made the choice to bring you here. So I believe that jetsam would be a fitting name. Understandable. If you use understandable instead of understood, I'm gonna. I'm just. It, I hate you. Um, I. Oh, yeah, I need his catchphrases. Yeah, his his catchphrases. <laughs> I, I, I'm of the understanding of this. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. I get it. <laughs> I got. You, I got you. Um, well then, um, if you should not like it. Feel free to pick something else, but, um, for now, then, Jetsam, I, I just, this, and I just, like, kind of gesture to, like, the fairgrounds mm -hmm. and, like, the, like, the, the woman who's, like, um, like, fixing my hand. Can you show me how I ended up in the sea? That was my first when first thought when arriving here as well. And he, he kind of like stands back and kind of gestures towards the pier. From your memory, I had the same memory of drowning. And being so close to water, I gathered the idea that maybe this is where that happened. But that seems unlikely. And, uh, he kind of walks over towards the pier and kind of waits for you at, like, the edge. Yeah, I'll, uh, walk over to the edge of the pier. I'll try to, like, I I'll, I'll, like, take my hand away from the woman. She doesn't seem uh, to react at all. Like, she kind of just lets it go and, like, kind of goes about her business as if this is what happened. I'll, like, kind of, like, just, like, stop and say... Thank you. And then I'll walk towards the- You get a very kind, just burst of sound from her. Um, he stands there and doesn't really say much as you approach, but when you get 
to the edge, you can hear the kind of rushing of what you first thought was waves and like seagulls and stuff. But you can definitely see seagulls, but as you look down, there is no water. You can see the top of clouds from where you are. And it seems like you aren't on like a pier at all. You are very high up in the air. As like clouds kind of part beneath you and you can see like some landmass below as well as just a lot of water. The water seems very far from where we are. I do remember falling. Falling into the water. There is little to any security on here. One could potentially slip. Where is it? Where are we? I believe this is where you worked. He kind of turns back towards the fairground. I think you played for these people. So it's not so much a pier, it's like high up in the air? Yeah, it has like the semblance of like a pier, but it's like you're way up in the sky right now. Um, like does it appear a, like a I'm on pier from like, what, what's that place that has like the pier with also the fairground on it? Uh, forget the place, but essentially Santa Monica. But I think, like, I think. The, is that the, I don't know places, but yeah, it's like a fairground on a dock, but like a sky dock very much up in the air. And you can look around to see like, kind of like large propellers that you assume are keeping this place oh up. my oh god but it doesn't so, seem yeah, like the you're... fair is its own like little ship it looks like this is a pretty big place santa monica pier i think is probably what you're thinking of but i don't know i think so it's like the quintessential like pier yeah carnival, yeah, yeah. Right? like like with the yeah um so uh, i'll ask um and is that what happened? Did I slip? Did I... Did I fall? Well, that I don't know. I'm uncovering much of this. As you do. I don't think I can wander too far in your mind where you are not also able to wander. There are rifts that are clouded and still inaccessible. Um, do I have the the manacles on my wrists and um, legs? Probably. Okay. If, that, if that's a thing you think you would have yeah. back then, then yeah. If that's what you're fished up with, I, I would assume, yeah. Yeah. They're probably built into your, like, chassis, if anything. Yeah, okay. Um. I. Then this is what I was. I was. I played music for these people. I. I believe I had a, a memory you said earlier about a weapon. Mm -hmm. Someone like took like, like your someone taking instrument a weapon away. From me. And yeah, can I try and like focus in on like that memory? Um, yeah, we're only like a wisdom check, I suppose. Yeah, fair enough. I don't need to take too much time. I'm sorry. Yeah, just, no, 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 that's fine. Oh, that was a wisdom save. I guess it's the same thing. Yeah, if it's the same thing, you do get kind of like a rush and uh, Jetsum kind of like poises himself a little as he wasn't kind of ready for this sudden shift. But um, yeah, the whole like image around you kind of like shifts almost like, like one of those like picture cameras. And the place you're in right now is kind of looking a bit more disheveled. 
and like a bit more run down and um there, there seems to be people around and you can see off kind of in the distance in the sky there are like some like kind of <laughs> like explosions going on and there seems to be a um another humanoid shape though you don't remember them like at all you just know that they were a very commanding figure um kind of arguing with the girl who was kind of messing with your your stuff they they seem to be talking a lot and like there, there's a whole vibe of her not being into what's happening at all um but you can kind of look around and you see your uh similar uh, your your friends that you used to play the instruments with they are also kind of looking down at weapons they've been given and they kind of look at you as if they're confused as well like they're not sure what to do with them do and i do how many how many warforged are there is it just the three of us there seems like a few but you can see all okay. of them seem to have been made for a purpose at a carnival here like some are like uh. not like some are barely humanoid even they look like they're just meant to like yeah. sit in a box and like pay things and like move things like a fortune teller like yeah you, you, yeah there's like yeah. literally a fortune teller doing in a box who looks like he was put on like spare legs oh and they're getting like used to it um and you see uh jetson like some like soldier looking type walks up to him and hands him like a, a weird looking firearm you'd think like a very unnatural looking gun to what you've seen people use nowadays like yeah. a very precursor of a firearm and uh he looks at you being very confused well this is interesting i think the others are scared Yet you are not. Were you? Um. Is it were you scared at the time, do you think? Or was it more just concern for your friends? No. I wasn't scared. For some reason, the allure of it felt strange to me, but it wasn't that I was afraid. It just felt strange to me that it should cut, that it should have come to this. That they were going to have to fight when they didn't want to. They weren't made for that purpose. We weren't made for that purpose. Uh, he kind of looks towards like another imposing soldier who's walking up to you that kind of looks over at you. I don't believe anyone was made for this. As a uh, you kind of like were holding your violin as this guy kind of grabs it rather angrily and kind of tosses it to the side and like all in one motion kind of shoves like a firearm into your arms and the same kind of like push motion kind of sends you backwards and you feel like you hit water like immediately as you are kind of like thrust back into uh out of stasis mode i suppose back on the ship Fair enough. Do you want to head back into the... Uh, yeah, we gotta go, we gotta go back. Alright, I'm gonna go back. <laughs> Thank you, Cheeky. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. We'll I'll be text back. you about we'll, this later. We'll be back. <laughs> yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> I'm gonna move into the other yeah. one. Hey! hey. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh? I, I like how you know fish grin on fell. That's a good sign. What? What? I have to bring me bring what? me back to the regular screen. Uh, oh. Cheeks, by the way. 
regular oh, yeah, yeah, scream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got a <laughs> dream thing. You think I'm caving dream thing to myself, Dad? Uh, look, he's just been acting weird a few sessions. I had to talk to him about it. You know how it is. <laughs> I, I got like yeah, Don't bite into dream. the wisdom save. They, 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 had to, they also yeah. had to do with me being reprimanded. <laughs> um, I just um, decided to do it in, like, in a live show instead of <laughs> a part yeah, yeah. of <laughs> on, on, on live. Can I get the, the yeah. thing? Come on. I wonder here. what we talked about. It was mostly teeth and then mm -hmm. weird names. Teeth, huh? <laughs> yeah. Like, like, we all have weird teeth. Oh. Yeah, oh, no. I have a tooth now. I had, I didn't have one for a while, and now I do. So that's cool. Okay. That's kind of epic. Mm -hmm. Deeds a vampire. Pretty epic. Being able to oh, like bite into and it. knowing you have teeth there. Pretty epic. Kind of a vampire, but I've got like ten of them, so <laughs> ten sharp teeth. <laughs> oh, like and some of them are sharp, but you know, they get the job yeah. done. Um, when you um, is anyone awake right now? Yeah, I suppose oh. your stasis doesn't go for a while. Um, Lex probably is because, like, he also doesn't sleep. Um, I mean, I think Comet's probably awake since he's still trying to take care of Silas, but... Yeah. Do I if you want someone to, to be awake, someone can be awake. I don't... Well, it's not that I want anyone to be awake. I just... I'm wondering if I come to, like, normally. Uh, you might jostle a little, I suppose. So mm -hmm. anyone semi-aware might see you kind of just, like, jolt. Um... Suppose, maybe everyone roll me a perception lest you just want to be asleep. And we'll see if you see if you notice a, a jostling. Uh, no, I'm not rolling your views. <laughs> I've never heard of is, is Just right now. Yeah, 16. Yeah, I think so. Like, like, Lex is probably in his book. So he, he, he's probably just awake and aware that you jolted, but... Um, Comet, you definitely are aware that, like, Flotsam seems to have exited stasis mode. It's kind of, <laughs> Iris is kind of just... just, just <laughs> yeah. <The> start -up. <laughs> yeah. It's really late. He didn't turn himself down in the morning. <laughs> um... I... Um... Uh, I just, I'm just gonna stand up. I, um, I, I guess I can't say I need some fresh air. You won't buy that, will you? Um, <laughs> oh, it's common. I'm on the ocean. ocean. <laughs> <laughs> I need to wax my face on the <laughs> deck. Um, uh. I, um, sorry, Comet. I hope that I didn't wake you. No, I'm. I wasn't sleeping yet. Um, you're all good. Are you okay? I <laughs> am okay. Um, I I'm okay. Comment. I'm sorry. Um, I need to. Um, I I think perhaps I just need to be out side for um a brief amount of time can you watch lex for me oh uh she, yeah sure i can uh i can watch him uh yeah you i i get it i, I like looking at the stars too that's fine right the stars um I, I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm sorry that this is like I, I really don't want to make this the Norb hour. Um, uh, <laughs> you're thank, good, you you're for, good. thank you all for indulging. Um, I can I go up onto the deck, um, and then I'm gonna look at the sky, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna kind of look around, mm -hmm. and I'm assuming I don't see anything. 
Nothing but the big orb in the sky and the moon. Some clouds, some stars, nothing out of the ordinary. Um, is Scarlet out there? Um, yeah, it, it seems like there are a few kind of skeleton crew awake at the moment. Um, and Scarlet seems to be one of them. They're kind of uh, looking out into the water, kind of rolling up some rope. Like cleaning up all the rope they used to try and save you all. You got the rope duty. Um, I'll approach Scarlet. Um, Scarlet. Uh, she jumps a little, not really being aware of their surroundings too much at sea. Uh, they turn to <laughs> look at you and kind of cock their head a little. Hello. I need to apologize to you. Okay. I'm in a mask of many faces to turn into. I don't have. I, I don't know why I can't control my uh, token. You can't? Change, can't change my. T yeah, I don't know why I can't. There's no multi side. I can't change my token. Yeah, no, it's gone for whatever reason. What? Um, but that's okay. Okay. Yeah, um, I got you. Oh, nice. Um, and I'll so change into Genasi uh, Flotsam. I was I was being untruthful about who I was and. I thought that that would make people like me, but I don't want to have any misgivings about what it is that I am. This is just um, a trick, but this, and then I'll turn back into regular Flotsam, Warforged Flotsam. Uh, th this is who I really am. And I'm sorry. Uh, she looks... Very shocked. There's a range of emotions on her face that you can't really gauge all at once. Being given so much information. And uh, she kind of hooks the, the, the rope that she's kind of winding on like a, a a boat hook. Classic boat hooks. Mm -hmm. And um, she kind of stands and moves a little closer to kind of like inspect you a little. Wait, so you're... Which one are you? Um, I'm Flotsam. The, this form I, is I, my... I, but you're, you're metal. Yes. Always have been? As far as I can remember. Okay, so when you do the whole devil man thing, that's... You're still metal? Just correct. Just, um, magic. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm glad you told me because I could not sleep. I thought Flotsam was, like, somewhere on the pier... And you like stole his clothes or something? Right. I I was very worried about Flotsam. The, in me. Yes. I am Flotsam. But I didn't know that was you getting on the ship till now. I'm glad you're okay. What are you? He kind of like leans in to inspect you a bit more, you know, looking at where like your joints are to see how you work. I, uh, I guess I'm figuring that out. Okay. But this time, without any trepidation about you learning my true nature, and I'll put out my hand, it's nice to meet you. I appreciate that. She kind of 
reaches out and shakes your hand, <laughs> quickly kind of grabbing and turning it as well to like look at it a bit. Obviously, she has never seen a, a war forged in her life. Mm hmm. Now, um, if you'll excuse me, I have to be alone for a moment. Oh, why? I remembered a song. Oh. And I would like to play it before it is gone from my memory. I mean, you can play it for me. Understood. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty happy about it. Ooh. Let's make sure this is working. That's okay, right, Cheeky? What I just said. Oh. Do you get why what I'm asking? Yeah. All right, everybody, get your lighters out. Uh -huh. Um, I, I like take out the violin. Can you hear both the guitar and man me? <laughs> man me. Okay. <laughs> Look at the sky, baby. What do you see? Looks like the tears that I cry Falling down like rain on the ground Every time you say goodbye Take a look around now Why don't you feel the way the cold wind stings and bites And your words are just like arrows through my heart Every time you say goodbye Yeah! Yeah, man. Ooh. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. And I have to go now. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, yeah. And then I'll, I'll just, um, and then I'll finish the song. Mm. She, she looks like she was like about to like try and like copy you as if you were like, she might've thought you were teaching her a song, but then you just like go right into it. And she kind of just stands there a bit in awe as you start singing a, a beautiful song. Yeah. And the camera kind of pans away from the ship as uh, everyone absolutely gets a long rest. You eventually, I assume, return to slumber wherever you choose to, to fall. <laughs> mm hmm. And um, you're all eventually awakened in the morning by the sunrise. But, uh, Comet and the gang, do you return to the room, Flotsam, I guess is... Yes. All right. Yes. You, um, you are all in there sleeping as, uh, Comet. You feel something trying to get your attention, like something kind of like shaking your head, kind of moving you. Some someone's trying to wake you up. Uh, I'll wake up and try to see what it is. Uh. uh, yeah, you see, like, kind of completely on top of you because you're huge and to reach your face, they kind of <laughs> have to stand up. Uh, you see, uh, Melody kind of oh, shaking oh, your head oh, from side to side. Uh, oh, oh. uh, let me, let me find the man. Well, uh, Hi, good, hey, good morning. Uh, wh Hello. Why, uh, why Hello. are you? Hi, how did you make it here? Are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm great. No, well, I went to the Babakin, and none of you were there, so I just did a right. little do 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 do. Found you out here. No, when when you say do 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 do, what do you? <laughs> I. Look for you. I don't know how to explain it. I open up my 
brain, and it seems to tell me where you are. I hope that doesn't hurt. Mm. Um, oh, yeah, I mean, uh, we're happy to see you. Did you, did you just, uh, did you need us to help you with something, or? Yeah, well, I mean, you sent Graham and I to look after the, uh, the, the people that showed up. Oh, the one, the people in black and purple. Graham mm. left, and uh, right. kind of left me to do it alone. Uh, they're, like, moving to the Babakin. I was meant to All- tell you when they were doing that. So I'm here, and they're moving to the Babakin. So. God damn it. <laughs> Wait, so all wait every not the ones we left there before, like all of them. He kind of looks to the side and, and nods slowly. I don't know why only some of them would. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm gonna wake everyone up. <laughs> We're gonna have to probably to awoken by them talking anyway, yeah. but anyone who isn't. He's definitely a Oh, hey, Nolly, what's up? We have to go. Why? There's a problem. Where? Um, the Babacon might be under attack by the people that were following Adelaide. Oh. Uh, yeah, is that what's what, going on? I think so. That's what Melody says. By the way, Melody's uh, here. Uh, um, hi. Hi. Yeah, hi. <laughs> we... Wait, are they attacking or are they just, just like... Going well, there. Melody says they're making their way to the Babacon, so I think we gotta get there before anything else happens. They started walking. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Melody, could you do us a favor? Hmm? It's not too much trouble. Could you just feel out for Graham and Adelaide and tell us if they're safe and okay? Well, I'm, I could tell they're fine. I, I went to Graham first because he left and he told me to tell you. Okay. Where Where did you oh, find them? He's fine. They're okay. Uh, I don't know when you ask where did you find them, he kind of looks to the side and they grimace a little. They said not to I tell. I told you not to yeah. tell us, right? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I figured as much. Look, as long as we, they're safe, that's all we need to know right now. Let's go deal with Adeline's mess, and then uh, we'll we'll track them down afterwards. They smell awful, though. <laughs> oh? Hmm. What, they just haven't had a shower, or what do you mean? Hmm, they were burning something. Get up. Come on. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Let's go. I don't want to. I don't want to leave this to this. Um. Yeah. So I'll get. Uh. Rob will get all of her stuff together. With you all oh. getting ready, <laughs> getting <laughs> up. Yeah. <laughs> Melody even starts helping some of you on with the armor. Mm. We'll uh, end off this section with a very confusing awakening. <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh. Bye. Goodbye, bye. everybody. <laughs> see you. Yeah, uh, bye. Maybe bye. We'll, we'll see when you, we see you. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll yeah. see. We'll see. Yeah. See you. Bye, guys. Bye.